I'm gonna just listen to this theme real quick. So this is good. My god, these games look fantastic. Straight up, if you misbehaved in Discord while I was streaming, I will not notice. Oh yeah, this is absolutely the Octopath team. They've actually trademarked this as HD2D. Like this, this particular style. I, the theme hasn't looped, so we're just, we're just keep going. Yeah, this, this is absolutely the thing that I'm most excited for, and it's not close. That's fine, but I'm sad it's over. Well, new game, I guess. Thank you for your download. There's a special pre-release version comprising chapters ex excerpted from the middle of the game. As you'll be joining the story in progress, you may find it difficult to fully grasp the events happening around you. However, we encourage you to enjoy the atmosphere of the game world. Battles have been ramped up in difficulty somewhat to allow you to fully experience the depth of the combat system in a limited number of stages. Experiment with different strategies to triumph over your foes. Hope you enjoy the game. This is probably not. Oh, no, they actually did put tri Project Triangle strategy into the. All right. Yeah, all right, sure. On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. Uh huh. This text isn't going to auto advance, is it? All right, that's fine. The kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River. Okay. And flourishing trade. All right. This is some world building I'm not going to remember a year and a half from now, but go on. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt, is central to life. Mm hmm. <clears throat> so you have three, you have three key resources. You have iron, you have salt, and you have fresh water. Can I turn the game volume up? I can. The last game I was playing was super quiet, so... Or rather, super loud and needed to be made more quiet. Hmm. With each nation controlling one vital resource, uh -huh. conflict between these three powers was all too common. Makes sense. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Mm. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. 
again, naming convention a bit too, too like a a bit to the point, but sure. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. Peace came to Norzelia, but only briefly. Shortly after assuming power in Esfrost, Archduke Gustadolf launched a surprise invasion of the neighboring kingdom of Glenbrook. That had an extra syllable in there that I wasn't expecting. I my brain was absolutely reading reading that as Gustav. And I got hit with Gustadolf. The might of the Esfrostian forces under the command of the formidable General of Laura easily mm -hmm. overwhelmed Glenbrook's crown city. Before any could comprehend the meaning of what was happening, the once proud Whiteholm Castle had fallen. Mm -hmm. Learning of the attack, House Wolfort, highest of the three high houses of Glenbrook, rushes to the royal family's aid. Leading the charge is none other than young Sarah Noah, who has only just taken over the mantle of lordship from his father. So he's Marth. At his side are Benedict, House Wolfort's advisor and a veteran of the Salt Iron War. Roland, the younger prince of Glenbrook and Sarah Noah's childhood friend. And Frederica, his betrothed, who hails from the very duchy they now call foe. <laughs> a new war is kindling fanned by the unwavering convictions held by the rulers of these lands all right so are we like and are we like tight besties or so is someone going to betray me straight into the pyre Esfrost's forces have breached the once proud walls of Whiteholm and now overrun its majestic halls, leaving only death and destruction in their wake. Mm. Tell her that's a strong possibility. Strong possibility. I mean, according to the internet last year, everything is cake, so... Like bloodthirsty beasts, they search. Eager to carry out Archduke Gustadolf's orders to kill any member of the royal family on sight. Damn. With the very future of the kingdom hanging in the balance, Sarah Noah hurries to the throne room as fast as his legs can carry him. Okay, chapter six! I, they did say they were picking up from the middle of the game, so it makes sense. If you if you want to show a vertical slice, show the vertical slice that has the actual complexity that makes the game cool. Like show the part when you start actually like building your characters and you have like a variety of things to do. All right, I had that rhythm wrong at first, but okay. Okay. Do they... Do they mean to hurt us? They will do no such thing, my princess. Not so long as I draw breath. Cease the vainglorious theatrics. The city is mine now, and not a soul loyal to his grace still lives. I'm a fan of the usage of the word vainglorious. I like this. You are all that remains. Not even the Dawn Spear can hope to triumph against such odds. You talk and talk, but do you have the courage to test your words? This is folly, Gustadolf. What madness has possessed you? Is this how you would take revenge for what befell your father? Nothing so petty as that, Regna. The war and all its atrocities should remain buried in the past. Then what drives you to commit new ones? 
to tear down the future we labored so long to achieve. That was up in that high register for a little too long. Do you think Hyzant will stand idly by while Glenbrook burns? Hyzant is a name. I shudder to think what ends you hope to achieve by such vile means. <laughs> you always did lack imagination. However, not even I foresaw the opportunity this foolish partnership would afford me. As for Hyzant, she shall meet the same fate as your beloved kingdom. I've been there, Dell. I was wondering. Whatever your aims may be, you'll never. Father, are you hurt? This looks like our uh, adventuring party here. Brother? Yo, I just noticed there's a bunch of dudes face down in puddles of their own blood. You imbecile! Why do you return? So they did warn us that we're picking up in the middle of the story, so we're not we're not meant to know what's happening. Be grateful to see me for once. I wasn't about to leave you to these wolves. You stone-headed brat! Voice acting is pretty on point so far. Hydrate. If it isn't my dear Frederica and her newly betrothed. And you've got friends. Exactly two friends, it appears. Stand down at once. On the honor of House Walford, we shall not let the royal family come to harm. So you're the young one. You have courage, if not much sense. I'll give you that. Thanks? Brother, what is the meaning of this? I am sorry for forcing this unpleasant scene upon you, Frederica. I had to take action sooner than anticipated. Action? What do you... Listen well. I, Gustadolf Esfrost, do hereby condemn the King of Glenbrook and his agents for their treacherous deeds. Okay. Scheming to claim the riches of the Grand Norzellian Mines their own, they slaughtered my dear cousin Dragan in cold blood. I mean, big if true. For this most heinous crime, and for shattering the trust between our nations out of malice, I declare their punishment must be swift and final. Political intrigue! So this is the lie you would weave. I mean, it's feasible he's not lying. What we don't actually- Dragon was killed by- Oh, wait, no, he's lying. Silence, my lord. Benedict? I commend you for delivering the traitorous Prince Roland to me. He, too, must answer for his crimes. Hand him over, and House Wolfort may yet see itself through this unscathed. You are my dear sister's husband-to-be. Bend the knee, and no harm shall befall you. Straight up bend the knee, huh? I will do no such thing. We won't be party to your treachery. Your father was ever a thorn in my side. You seem intent on repeating the history. However, I fear you will not live long enough to accomplish it. General of Laura, kill them all. Yes, my lord. Oh. I won't let you. He's dead now. Ah! Called it. Brother! Ah! That's a lot of blood. That's probably too much blood. It's very shiny. He's probably not surviving that. Sir Maxwell, leave me. Take Roland to safety. <sighs> yes, my lord. Whoa! My prince, with me. Yo! I can't leave them. Step aside, Sir Maxwell. My lord, we must flee at once. But his grace. Roland, 
Lord Walford, there is no saving me. The future of Glenbrook lies in your hands now. Father! My prince, follow us. But I... Damn it all! After them. Oh, I... I... I thought we were fighting in here, but all right. You would once again see Dorzelia bathed in blood, Gustadolf? Truly, you are lost. This land has long been lost, Regna, but it need be no longer. This is where I'm doing a big plot. Wait. He is readying the boat for our escape as we speak. A wise decision. No doubt the river is our only hope of getting out of the city alive. The streets are overrun with as frosty soldiers. Our foe no doubt searches for us on the other side of this very gate. Then we wait here and pray for Sir Maxwell's swift return. Father. Freddy. Cordelia. You didn't see them die, so they could still be alive. And what is she doing with us? She's with the enemy. What? No, I, I had no idea. Ah, yes. You must be an enemy spy. Lies. It was your own brother that attacked the city. If I had any idea he was planning such atrocities, I would have stopped him. He's... I know not what's possessed him. Possession? Possibility of possession? We are as shocked and torn by this turn of events as you. Enough, you I know that's not what they mean. We can't be clawing at each other's throats with the yes frosty army looking to hunt us down like dogs. My emotions got the better of me for a moment. Forgive me. Yeah, that's true. Hewett is a is that is a name. It's not lost on me that there's eight characters on screen right now. Hewett means no ill, my lady. Her fellow members of the King's Guard were slain before her eyes. That's rough, buddy. For now, let us focus on the present. Prince Roland's safety and escape are our main concerns. Of course. That's rough, buddy. These are trying times, but we mustn't let emotions cloud our judgment. Benedict, you stopped me from speaking the truth of Dragon's death. That's rough, buddy. To what end? Gustadolf would frame Glenbrook for Lord Dragan's murder and claim it as pretext for his invasion. If he knew we witnessed the truth, our heads would already be on pikes. Hmm. Okay, he's very lying. It would seem he still intends to put them there. Because you spat in the face of his demands. I mean... What we know could expose his claims as the treacherous lies they are. If it came to light that Gustadolf orchestrated his own cousin's murder, no one would dare stand by his side. Indeed. However, words have little substance on their own. Especially when weighed against the power and influence the Archduke commands. Your truth would be taken as the pathetic ramblings of a desperate man. That's a reasonable... That's a, that's a reasonable thought. Once again... Your wisdom makes me feel the fool. No, we are all fumbling through these dark times. The voice acting is good. It, there's, it's a little wooden. You spoke and acted as the Lord of House Woolfort and did so admirably. Benedict is good. And yet my actions have put everyone in danger. Father would have known better. Serenoa is a bit, uh... Eh. 
Let us look forward, my lord, not back. There are truths yet cloaked in the shadows. We must survive and see them brought to light. For these truths shall be the weapons by which we lay Esfrost low. Thank you, Benedict. I'm interested in who, um, I'm interested in who voice acts Benedict because he kind of sounds like Alucard. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last one of us. I know you will, my lord. Let us await Sir Maxwell's arrival. Okay, Max will tr prove true to his word. We must be patient. Exploration. Well, this game comprises multiple phases. In between story scenes and battles, there will be an exploration phase. In this phase, you may move freely about areas to gather information from the people around you, obtain items, review mechanisms and terrain features that may serve you in battle and more. This is cool. So you get to like look around and see what's on the what kind of traps and features are on the battlefield before you start? I like that. All right. Hit the lever. Open the gate. Best leave it alone for now. Movement is weirdly slippery. Probably something they'll take another couple of passes on. I have obtained a large HP recovery pellet. AKA a vulnerary. Oh, hello. And 50 Sigma bucks. That was a symbol. It's obviously currency, but what do we call our currency? I have bad news. I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry. Okay, hey, sorry about that. Um, I, I ate dinner and my reward, my body was like, hey, thank you for eating dinner. I needed that. Your reward is to now go uneat immediately. Hi, Ram. We're trying out this, uh, we're trying out this demo. They just dropped us in chapter six and they were like, hey, we wanted you to drop you in at a point where like, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, so you can actually feel some gameplay depth. Um, but you're, it's going to throw you some it's going to throw you some plot stuff. And don't worry, you're not supposed to know what's going on yet. So. Um, basically, we have witnessed what I can only what I can only describe as a coup. And now we are escaping with uh We're escaping the palace with the young prince and there's something about a murder and uh, we witnessed it, but he's spreading lies about the, the 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 leader of the coup is spreading lies about who did the murder so he can take over and use that as a pretext for war. And um, and now we're preparing for escape battle. Nothing to do till Sir Maxwell comes calling with our boat. And this is the exploration phase. In, oh, OK. In which we get to look around the battlefield and uh, look for items and talk to people and um, and see what the terrain is like. And check out any like traps or, or traps or terrain details. Um, before the battle starts, which is cool. 
Roland here would be our friend. Would be our, our, our prince. What what happened? Damn it all, what have we done to deserve this fate? What well, grudge can my brother possibly care? Frederica is the uh, is the Coors uh, sister. His own sister's wedding day. Today was the wedding day. Yo, that's messed up. Now the duchy's names remain unclear. Seems the reason that our our own. Demizen? I don't know that word at all. Our own domain. That makes sense. Cool. I. Pff, that's lost on me. The Preston is our safest destination and Prince Roland's only refuge. I hear footsteps. Our pursuers draw ever closer. We won't be safe here for long. Sir Maxwell does not arrive soon with our escape vessel. Okay, so we're evacuating, and that to me says that this fight is basically going to be survive against endless waves until boat. And whoop! I detect a shiny. Was that like a little? Was that a little jump hop? It was. Cute. I like that. They're the last alive who can keep Prince Roland safe at a time like this. Oh, okay. All right, well, there's no real consequences for this. This game's not out for like a year. So... Let's fight together. Hope so long as we still stand and stand together. As long as you are here to guide us. Boat should arrive soon enough. There is only one thing we can and must do. Uh huh. Norzelli had three major guiding convictions prevail: utility, morality, and liberty. Take the this will take the form of invisible parameters influenced by the choice you make throughout the game. These parameters will not be reflected visually. Okay, that is important. Because as much as I as much as I appreciate the Mass Effect morality system, eventually the Bioware, the Bioware uh, morality system always comes down to make the meter you want go up and just look like make your choices based on how much it moves the meters. But the fact that it is hiding that, like, it tells you that system exists, but it does not show you where you fall on it. And for that matter, it doesn't... It doesn't seem to be... Um, it doesn't seem to even tell you which of those three convictions you've actually, like, ascribed to. It just it just kind of tells you that it just kind of tells you that that's a that's a thing. 
Your decisions will shape Sarah Noah's convictions as well as influence which companions may choose to join his cause. So, yeah. People who are aligned with the same convictions as you will follow your convictions. That's a super interesting way to handle a morality system in theory. Execution means a lot. So that's cool. Did we did we check on everyone? I feel like we checked on everyone. Oh, I just noticed something. There's a profile button. In case you wanted that... Si oh, man, we have to go get... Okay. It's time to go see everyone's character art, because, yeah. That's a strong chin. Yeah, this reminds me of, uh, this reminds me of Octopath Traveler's art. Except not, um, it's a little more defined. It's not as wispy. Octopath's art was very soft. Here's our prince. He looks like a prince. And yet it doesn't lose that. It's got that it's got those little watercolor splotches in the background. Not really watercolor colors, more like oil. I don't know, whatever that is. Aww. That's not what I thought she was going to look like, but I also didn't know she was a she was a tutor. I like her. We saw her, but you know. Benedict. Yeah, we saw him. He's actually on the We saw him in the um Opening. Oh, there's your spy. Anna is an interesting name because... I feel like this person shows somewhat masculine. But maybe a certain degree of androgyny plays into the plays into the spy thing. Which cool. Oh, I like you. Oh no, that no, you're cool. You're my favorite. All right, I believe we're done here. In case you didn't get enough of them, we could have just done it like this. Wait, who the hell is this? He wasn't on the map. Where are you? I didn't see a Corentin. Hang on, I'm uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, he could just be standing around somewhere, but again, this is a demo. Let's just try the game. Curses, where's the boat? Yeah, I think that's about I think that's about right, Ram. You're not inaccurate.
I mean, it's fine. They haven't had time to optimize it yet. It is the switch. Load times are a thing. My prince, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Wait, where were you? I thought you evacuated with, uh, with us. I've managed to procure a boat for our escape. It oh, arrive on oh, he was getting the boat. Okay, thanks. Thank you so Maxwell. Would that I could have done more. You did well to stand against Gustadolf. Your father would have been proud to see it. Let's save the pleasantries until we're through the gate, huh? Everyone ready? We are. Open the gates, Eridor! Whatever you say, my lord. Here's hoping we can make it through without those bastards on the shore noticing. Kind of surprised they didn't chase us out of the palace. I kind of thought that's where the aggro would be coming from, but I guess it's coming from the gate. Over there! Ah, there's too many of them. We need to turn back. Well, give it up. There's nowhere to run. Why? We We gave them the high ground. There's literally a sniper dude sitting up on the sitting up in the in on the on the on the ledge there. Damn it. They shut us in. Is this it? If this is where I fall, I'm taking these S frosty bastards with me. Don't be so quick to throw your life away, my prince. Yes, we haven't lost hope yet. The boat will arrive shortly. We only need to fend them off until then. Can we do that? Yeah, probably. It's only chapter six. I fail to see why not. If you lend us your sword, that is. As if I would do aught else. Form around the prince. Protect him. The prince is on the bridge. Seize him. Oh, God, we are getting pincered. This was a terrible plan. They pour from the castle like rats. I shall defend the rear. We should really probably have not let open the gate to let people out first. Or in first. Maxwell's being set up to be super strong and super cool. So I assume he will turn on us and we will have to fight him later. All right, two keys to battle, or two keys to victory battle in our positioning and initiative. Attack from the high ground. I told you the high ground was important. Positioning matters too. Backstabs, backstabs matter. Die tragically is an option. Turn order determined by speed. Upcoming turn order displayed via an indicator at the bottom of the battle screen. That looks that reminds me of um, the Banner Saga. Like a turn order reviews allies abilities when deciding how to deploy in advance. Okay. Oh, Huet is mounted. Yo, Maxwell is literally... Literally masked fight. He's just tuxedo mask. Without the tuxedo, but with the mask.
I mean, everybody's cool. Yeah, I think everyone's deployed, so. And it looks like we have pretty well armored units up in front, so I'm going to assume this is probably okay. The camera is not fixed. Cool. Very, very cool. Probably useful at some point. Oh, you can get top down too. I, I actually don't know how to start. I'm hitting my buttons. I'm hitting start. I'm. Oh, wait. Okay. I was in unit placement, so I hit B and that sent me back to the. Okay. That needs a, that needs a button. Tutorial? So basically I had to go back is what it was. We could do tutorial. But you know what? A tutorial is for a year and a half from now when this game actually comes out. We must find a way to open it and quickly. It's the it's the lever. I already, I already looked at the There should be a mechanism nearby. You literally already hit it to open the gate. Leave a pursuit to me. Hit the lever. Hit the lever. Be unit to a square adjacent to the lever and then probably select lever. Break through the gate, capture the drawbridge to make sure your enemy before you make your escape before the enemy surrounds you. Yo, listen. I don't know what I expected from the battle music, but it wasn't this and... Yes, okay, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. We're very friendly unit. Some squares will be colored purple, whereas within enemy attack range. Thank you. Thank you for showing me enemy attack range. I appreciate you. 
An enemy is able to attack a friendly unit next turn. A red line connecting them will appear. Shades of Final Fantasy XII. Take care to move vulnerable units out of harm's way. Your orders? Oh. My my orders are to say that again. I've not played tactics, no. Oh, there wasn't like a walking animation. It was just like, it's just like zoop. They may not have walking animations developed for all the characters yet. So we have something of like an MP system or like a skill point system in these old diamonds. Our spy can turn invisible, but I'm not going to I'm not going to burn that yet. Oh, there we go. End turn. And then facing. Oh no, there's the walk. Okay. I won't lose. Important question. Well, you know what? Let's. Let's use the regular attack first. Is there a counter attack? Take that. There is no counter attack. The hunt is on. Oh, the blind actually worked. And hopefully it's not like FF6 blind and this There's one actually works. No mercy on the battlefield. Oh, oh, okay. So this dude is strategist. His he's a he's a, he does buffs. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep you back. Splendid. Yo, all right. For the honor of House Wolfer. Okay, that's maybe a bit, that's maybe a bit much. I mean... No, that's too many lines. We'll go there. I feel stupid for having uh, buffed a character that can't reach anybody, but I'm not just going to throw him into danger. I shan't hold back. All right. Everyone else is just kind of waiting. Shall we begin? Physician. Okay. Gila is a healer.
And what kind of range do you have on Cure? Fairly broad. Okay. Shield bearer, he, okay. Provoke. Okay. Big tank energy. So, it falls to me. Scholar, I'm going to assume, is Magician? Wall of Ice. Oh, sick. Oh, sick! It's actually create an obstacle. Oh, th so you can use that to affect enemy pathing. Sends one square on both sides. So it's a three by one. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so if I were to like go over here, right? Oh my God, that's cool. Yeah. I fight for peace. I fight for my friends. This would be really nice because I could hit three with the with that, but I don't have whatever that currency is. I'm going to assume you just like gain one per turn. Your orders. Uh, backstab, I guess. Physical damage, okay, so Anna now has two. She didn't before. Let's get a backstab with a chance to sleep. Sound strike. Wait, what? Okay, we just get to go again. Backstab him again. Victory is within reach. I got some kind of point for doing a backstab, but I don't exactly know what it was. Um, let's use double thrust because it's here. Well, that was clearly only one thrust, but that's fine. Um, hold the line, I guess. No one's taken damage yet, so I'm not real sure how that's gonna work. But at least we can wipe this guy. Insult to injury. I don't entirely know what that means, but all right. She is on a, oh, you know what? She's on a bur, ooh. I see a path to victory. I've not handled this tactically very well, but you know, we're learning. I 
My shunt holds back. But you didn't do anything. Forward. You keep say you say you won't hold back, but then you don't actually do a thing. Yeah, I'd say that's accurate, actually. That works. I'm literally right now playing the game, playing the thing that I am most hype about from the direct. Whoa! Ram is the bit boss now. Thank you, Ram. Thank you for being, thank you for being the bit boss. Sorry, I keep interrupting the. Sorry, my bowels keep interrupting the stream. Oh, that's we win. Okay, we got follow-ups. And he dropped an item. While on enemies will drop loot, move an ally to a panel containing a bag of loot to claim it. Loot will be added to your inventory after the conclusion of battle if you triumph over your foe. I shall do what I can. We'll save that. We don't really need anything yet. Oh, no. Pursuing party has emerged from the castle. It's the prince. Seize him. Quickly now, before more arrive. I'll take you on. I'm doing my best, okay? Next step. Gotcha. You're open. Your orders. <laughs> so the spy doesn't. Okay, cool. Time for some research. The spy doesn't do a ton of uh of damage. But they get to act basically as often as they want. Let's not go there. Yeah. Evan, there was definitely a lot of stuff that could have been there that wasn't there. But there's a new game by the Octopath team, so I'm pretty much forgiving everything else. Well, we just bullied that guy. <clears throat> huh. Oh, I saw that earlier. Choosing an action, an icon will appear over any enemy units that are particularly susceptible to it. Attacks from behind are guaranteed to score a critical hit. Ally is positioned behind an enemy you strike with a physical attack. Oh, we did that already. But it has to specifically be behind. Okay, that's good to know. Because I attacked from the side and I was like, oh, we didn't get a... We didn't get a follow-up attack. So it has to be, it has to be vertical. It has to be back forward. It can't be like back side.
This positioning is... I'm riding a bird. And that makes me really not want to take... Um... That makes me really not want to take any archery fire. Bell swoop, huh? Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna send, I'm not gonna send the scout in to fight by itself. That's kind of not what scouts Let are for. <clears throat> did we take out all the enemies over here? Seems we did. <clears throat> I mean, if it follows Fire Emblem logic, then yes. Bird is susceptible to arrows. What is this? There is no mercy on the battlefield. Hey, were you gonna help out or are you just gonna stand there? You keep saying you won't hold back, but you've been holding back everything. All right, well. That was pretty heavy damage, so let's make sure you don't take any more of that. Or at least not very much. I shall protect you. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> Boop. Breaking news. The uh, the healer doesn't do great melee damage. Shall we strike? All right, this this seems really important to take care of at the moment. So Paris. Your orders. I think I have an idea. Take cover. There's not really anything else you can do at the moment, except... Except recover your HP. Those guys are still just kind of hanging out. Charge. This is interesting because I might be able to bait them into a situation where he's like kind of between them. We'll try it. I swear we're eventually going to do something with you at just, you know, positioning and stuff. I should have brought Burb back to... I should have brought Burb back to fight these. I kind of forgot they were there. Ram foe, deal physical damage and knock to a single enemy and knock them back five squares. Can you knock someone 
off a bridge. We shall attempt to find out. Time for some research. This will do. On my honor as the dawn speak. That will do. Now, you know what? We pretty much got that. Benedict can hang out up here with Let the cool kids. You know, I was going to weigh in on this, but I Sadie's pretty much got it, so. Hold on a second. Raise an ally's fire resistance for two turns and grant them the ability to counter attack. I didn't read that part before. We'll get them yet. Defeat is not an option. Yeah, the follow-up attack is just kind of a boop. That's all right. I just can't. We're still in stealth. So they should not be able to see me. They're not going to chase. Uh oh. I, no. My turn. She's probably fine. She, she sounded fine. there i keep what i keep trying to like bait them out towards me and that's not happening so okay good if i wasn't gonna kill either of them i could at least inflict blind it didn't matter I shall protect you. It ends here. That went well. Your luck has run out. We've been weakened. So, important note, and it may only be because she had the lowest defense, but um, the AI most definitely went straight after the uh most definitely went straight after the um what do you call it the the healer all right we done pissed him off let us pry out And we'll give him a defense buff. A uh, defense buff. We'll get him yet. So it falls to me. 
All right, you're good. Have a slip. Wow, these status effects are working really, really well, actually. Wait. Fire. Your fire damp. Well, sure. Let's try that out. Uh, uh. Make shield guard to climb the ladder and ram the archer into oblivion. I don't know, but I'd like to find out. This is the end. Yay, crits! For the honor of House Wolfer. So important thing that we're probably not going to learn on this mission unless things go really bad really fast. Um, fall damage or not fall damage? Uh, permadeath or nah? Also, like how does how does losing a unit in battle work? Also, and perhaps more importantly, um, when casting spells, can you friendly fire? You cannot. We can win this. Or at least not. At least not with everything. Oh shit. That wasn't. That's fine. Can the horse climb? So apparently the horse can climb the ladder. Probably best not to think too much about that. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? My strategy Boop. is superior. This battle is ours. From the slightly higher ground. Yeah. Oh sick, that counts! Oh! Oh, that makes a huge difference! Yeah, they're gonna keep coming. I shall protect you. Yeah, go for it. I shall try my level best. Okay, so I could open the gate. But I don't want to do that yet. Because I want to test this whole... Uh, that's going to start a new phase of the fight, and I want to try this whole ram the archer off the into oblivion situation. That seems fun to me. I will end this. Damn, girl. Let me heal your wounds. Uh, maybe focus on yours for a sec. You're like not doing well. I'm very happy this exists. Oh, come on! Uh... <sighs> Fine. Uh-oh. So, it falls to me. That was a big backstab. I just noticed something. Do you see on the uh So 
So it shows um, under the on the move list. It shows the power, and then it shows ranged zero to four, which is how many spaces away from you, and then it shows height plus ten or minus ten plus ten. I'm assuming that's how many, how much range you can add or lower to the attack. No. That's maximum and minimum height different, like, difference that you can attack from. So basically, you can attack from 10 squares up or 10 squares down. But if someone is like 20 squares above you or 20 squares below you, you'll be out of range. That's how I choose to interpret that. Away with you! Most interesting. Defeat is not an option. Hang on, wait, let me let me get up on the Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. Woo! Yeah! I got, I got some slight elevation. My turn. Ups, if you will. All right, well, let's open the gate, I guess. The gate is open. It's open. Go. It started a new phase of the fight. Protect the prince. We got new music. No matter how many come, our blades will keep them at bay. They've overrun the bridge already. Very well. We cut our way through. Okay, we got more. Quietuses. Do not use up a turn can be triggered instantaneously. A single quietus can be used only once in a given battle. All right. But what is that? Is that like a context? Is that like a that's either some kind of super or it's like a contextual move like, you know, like raise the drawbridge or whatever. The music has been, like, consistently fantastic. Okay, so for instance... Okay, so this is interesting. Ranged, right? Ranged of two to four. Height goes from negative 20 to plus eight. So you can shoot at something that's slightly above you or way below you. Our current height is 22. And he's at 35, so he is... What did I say? 22? So he's 13 above me? That's more than 8, so he's out of range, even though technically he's only 3 spaces away. So, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Burbs, no good arrows. Bad. Where's all my... Oh, yeah, that's right. I sent the shield guy up to experiment. That's why I'm having trouble. Oh, the quietest thing is King Mirror. Okay. I saw it. Oh, it actually says down there, secret weapon. 
Oh. Okay. I know exactly what these are. This is a, um, this is a command. This is a, this is a Valkyria Chronicles uh, command. Literally just like an instant free action to give everyone a buff or give everyone like some sort of power up. I dig that. Goodness, this this music is going hard. Okay. So if I understand the backstab system correctly, even though I'm not right next to him, technically this will register as an attack from the front. And so the guy behind him should still get the follow-up attack. No. It could be the follow-up attacks are only for basic physical attacks and not magic. Well, that worked. And it's just a couple of shield dudes. This is so good! No, you know what? Stay out. Draw their, uh, draw their attention. And, uh... I will, uh, I will protect. You have my thanks. For the future of House Wolford. Thank you. Thank you, video game, for allowing characters to level up with with uh, with buff skills and and uh, and other. God, I can't get up there. Yeah, Ram, I imagine there's probably going to be sort of a debrief period after the mission where you actually get to see everyone's levels. But that is probably something that, you know, will take some development time. I can't climb that ladder, but I might be able to climb this one. I cause I wanna see it too. I won't give in. Oh no, she has unique dialogue for low health. I hate it. Have a recovery pellet. Now. May fortune favor us. Do I learn shadow stitching arrow? Ow. We got this. It's a little overkill for three HP, but it's fine. Shall we begin? Yeah, cause uh, um, Fire Emblem's really bad about that. You have my gratitude. With clear eyes, I move forward. Circle of healing seems cool. You won't beat me. Okay, finally. So Ramfo, deal physical damage to a single enemy, knock them back five squares. Nah, they just stop at the edge. Time for some research. It would have been cool, but the game's clearly not built around that, so. 
No, no terrain-based instant kills, unfortunately. Nice. Yeah, here they come. Allow me. Let us pry out their weakness. For more. Oh, you mean like Tactics Ogre? Right, I'm only vaguely aware of those games. Big damage. Big damage. Here I come. I don't know any of the other ones. I just know of Tactics Ogre. Let's give Shadow Stitching Arrow a shot. That worked out perfectly. Defeat is not an option. Cool heads shall prevail. Oh! Archers! I noticed this with Huette. Archers cannot attack in this in the uh in the ring right around them in the four squares like immediately adjacent to them so i actually have dudes stuck up here in the corner and he can't actually shoot uh Eridor here so as long as no one else walks into his range he's basically been taken out of the fight yeah i'm sure there's other i'm sure there's other weapon types that uh, mitigate that. So Gila now has AOE healing. Much better. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, what else you got? Pretty much nothing. How about you just shield bash him then? Shield bash him until he dies. That's his life now. My turn. This will prove useful. Surmount. Oh man, I love goo I love goofy shit like that. What? Move to an adjacent square with a height difference within 15 units. So Anna just learns to like. Yeah, just learn to, uh, just learn to, like, become the ladder. Parkour! Yeah! On my honor as the dawn speak. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Today I learned that enemies can pick up items. I don't like that. 
I liked it better when I didn't know that was a thing. And it's gonna do like... Okay, you know what? Actually more damage than I expected. That seemed to work. What do we do now? Gonna need you to roll back a bit. Oh wait, no. An attacking retreat. Yes. Time to take flight. Immobilize? No, crit, dead, perfect. I fight for peace. All right, I'm starting to feel it a little bit. Wait, what? Oh shit. That's not good. We've been made. Defeat is not an option. I mean, technically immobilized, just not in the way I initially intended. I will end this. The nice thing about that is that um, he didn't attack me, actually. Like, discovering... Uh, discovering Anna out of, uh, out of, out of stealth actually seems to have counted as his, like, attack. Let's see if we can't get a sleep out of this. Victory is within reach. That's not going to work. All right, and now... Now we learn if attacking someone knocks them out of sleep status. Victory is within reach. Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, now we know. On my honor as the dawn speaker. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Beautiful. I'll take you on. Time to die. In retrospect, maybe it wasn't the best idea to send my highest defense character into a uh, into a tightrope battle with an archer, but. Yes! If, uh, if they're in a position to learn a new skill, they get it immediately mid-battle. It's happened several times. So I, I feel like we can hard confirm that. We win. Victory is within reach. I won't lose! All right, as promised. Time to take flight. I don't know if jobs are changeable. That's an interesting, that's an interesting question. Because that changes a lot about this game. Oh, you know what? I have not gotten to try Fell Swoop yet, so let's try that. It's, it's just Peck. We, we used Peck. Which is fine. Like, I ain't mad about it. And Hawk Dive. Woo! Okay, that counts as physical, so we did get the follow-up attack. 
Sneaky sleepy stab. Now nah, you good. I fight for peace. Has Anna gotten an extra turn on every turn? Cause I feel like she's gotten an extra turn every turn. I thought that was something that would just like, I thought that was something that would trigger with a certain frequency, but now I'm starting to think it's every time. Okay, every time, every time, okay. That's really rad. Also, horse climb ladder, let's go. Horse climb ladder or no buy. This battle is won. There is no mercy on the battlefield. You have my thanks. Tell a horse. Shall we begin? Oh, you guys don't even need healing. I guess I could probably have used haste. I've been waiting for this. Probably on him. But it's fine. Now then, to work. Your orders? But. My orders are to stab this fool in the neck. Sounds right. Hang on. 80% chance of I didn't see that before because it was behind my camera. But it actually gives you the percentage chance of the status. 80% is a pretty damn good That's a pretty damn good percentage chance. Forward. That's hard to argue with. Hawk dive? Hawk dive. The enemies did stop spawning from behind, but I don't. I don't know for sure if that's because I hit the lever. Boo, 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 hit the lever. Or if it's because. I don't know if it's because I hit the lever or if it's because there were only two groups that spawned. I'm sorry, does that say kudos? Kudos is a thing, huh? Like a currency in this game? Oh. Those were the little things coming up saying like, do a backstab, do a... Do a backstab, hit an enemy with a weakness. It's basically like good strategy points. But what do you do with them though, is the question. The boat arrives, come with speed. I don't think they'd be job points because, well, no, actually they might be job points because I think Hold on. If it's what I think it is, it's actually really incredible. I think those might be job points because I think that what I was getting them for is specifically for using the characters in their 
in like an optimal strategic way. Because what I got them for the most was the spy doing backstabs. And also for the magicians using elemental weaknesses against enemies. So I wonder if they're not job or character specific. And it's like, okay, you're using this character. You should aim to be doing these. You should be aim to be doing these strategic things with that character. And if you do that, then you will get job point th stuff. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Brother unavenged. I mean, we'll probably come back to do it later. You. Mm. Okay, I realized that in stream time it was like an hour and a half ago because I I kept having to run to the bathroom. But like, seriously, dude, you running after, like running into enemy. Run, running into, like, a group of enemies because you're mad is literally how your brother died. Go. Leave this place. The Archduke will be content with your father's head. Damn. Oh, she cold. She cool, though. God damn, this art is good. I like it. Never. S. Frost will answer for its crimes today. Uh, no. Your Highness. A shame. You might have lived a long life. I... I don't think she's disobeying an order. I think that she is trying to, uh... I think she is trying to provoke him away from his escape route so that she can follow that order. So long as I stand, you'll do him no harm. Sir Maxwell! My prince. You are responsible for more than just your own life now. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Oh, shit. My friends of House Wolfort, I leave Prince Roland in your care. Right in the solar plexus. Let me go. Release him to me and there may be mercy for you yet, Maxwell. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Tis you who should be seeking mercy. Yeah, this might be that them. This might be that noble sacrifice. Very well. Later, fuckers. I'm on a boat. Uh, you were only toying with me at the tourney. Lady Knight is the big strongest. Only a fool shows what they can do when the stakes are so trifling. Just like, just one more time, just like. I'm not clapping at you, you idiots. I could not have said it better myself. He was like, why are we clapping? What's, what's clapping? Yo, let's go! This was in the trailer! Yeah!
wiped! <laughs> How do you still stand? You were this realm's fiercest warrior, Dawn Spear. Uh huh. But today your sun sets, and a new age begins. Uh oh, that's not good. That looks real bad. That's a prop. Oh. Spoilers. What? Well, he was cool for a minute. That's true. I like this game's not coming out next week. It's coming out next year. They have all the time so in the world. It was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Ace Frost seized control of the Crown City, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. Hey, there's that word again. I'm so mad at English that that's pronounced domains. Like, I hate this stupid language. Now the Archduke's mm. army marches upon House Walford's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. We got another chapter. I like I am assuming like it can't be any more than just the the two chapters, right? I should have spent more time on the menu just looking around. But I mean, this is a demo, it's free. You all, if you have a Switch, you can all just play it. I encourage you to do so. Your most <clears throat> honorable siblings, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica have arrived. My I'm just saying, if, like, if there's something you want to check on that I'm not checking on, something you want to see that I'm not doing, Hey, let's see what this guy looks like. Oh my god, that's the most evil person. Nobody has ever been more ready to backstab the crown. It's White Jafar! The Vizier! The Chancellor! The other high-ranking court official that wants to be king person. Scheming McSchemerton. I, I want to say McSchemerton. Scheming McScheme face. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. So that from behind, that just straight up looks like Inuyasha. Okay. They're just not even holding back on the faces here. Hey guys, would you like to know who the bad guys are? If there is anything else that you require, anything at all, you need but say the word. In that case, 
I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. I mean, if you're like a royal envoy, that seems reasonable. But of course, milady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. In fairness, milady is actually appropriate here. Ever eager to please, isn't he? Yeah, he seems the type. I believe the word you're looking for is sycophant. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. Hey, what do you look like? Yeah, OK, they look like twins. Oh, he oh, he's literally the chancellor. The actual chancellor. Also, I have to assume they will eventually. Um, I have to assume they will eventually put these uh, these character profile images. Um, like this is cool to have it up here on this little separate box, but like you have to think they might find a way to put it on the text box, right? To its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls. Oh, this is the part where the aristocracy is like, good job putting down the peasants. Oh, I see. I see. Plague Huntress is a. Okay, yeah. Plague Huntress is a is a is a Symphony of the Night. Cool. That's yep. That's that's other bloodstained game. Yes, cool. Yes, good. With a with with a license grid. There was a whole big level up thing there that I did not understand, but it excited me. And it had something that looked like the the Final Fantasy 12 license board. Okay. Good. Why aren't more people making Symphony of the Night clones? It's a good formula. Copy it. They're good games. Of course. Oh yeah, we we didn't see uh, Gustadolf. Yeah, all right, that looks about right. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Telior trembles in his seat within the stronghold. Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How easily the three great houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Might re-record that line, but that's fine. Wolford is the last to hold out, but if Laura will deal with them, Prince Roland will be in our hands Ram. before long. I mean, I get what you're saying. It's it's very close, but you can't say that from a minute and a half trailer. Like what they're trying to establish with the trailer is this looks like a Symphony of the Night game, and they did that. You don't know the whole game is just carbon copied. Oh, they didn't kill her. Yeah, she's going to need saving, isn't she? Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. Um, wait, hold on. My my brain just kind of. Okay. 
All right, how much of this like antiquated English stuff are we like? Remember kids, grammar matters because language never, ever, ever changes at all. Everything has always been spelled the same way all the time forever. Punctuation has always been used the same way forever. None of that is ever allowed to change at all and it never has and English has existed since the dawn of humanity in the same form that it, always, that it is now. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. I mean, she's standing in front of the throne. That is precisely what I would have her be. Uh. Okay. Whatever do you mean? Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. Okay. So let's, uh, it's not a hard coup. It's a, it's a, uh, install a younger member of the royal family and then control her as puppet state. Yes. A few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. <laughs> Father. So we didn't actually see the king killed, but like, I'm assuming, right? Also. One moment. Subjects of Glenbrook, I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Hear my words. The sins King Regna has committed against us and against you, his own people, are grievous indeed. There's a lot of cheering for this. For a man who's about to who's announcing the death of their king. Um, important. Dog and donut. Dog and donut. Dog and donut doing a butt munch. Yo, knock it off. Hey! Dog no longer in donut. Donut empty now. Yay! Yeah, that's actually kind of what I'm getting at, Ram. Like, they either didn't put much thought into this scene, or, like, Everyone's actually happy that the king is dead. Maybe he actually was kind of an ass. <sighs> oh, he's there now. Oh, I didn't even notice. Three decades have passed since the end of the war. Is this a public execution? We what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzelian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. Oh, that's right. There's a whole thing where it's like, yeah, you had so-and-so character we've not met. Yeah. It, it seems like he probably has been because he's got a whole thing where it's like, oh, he's he's he killed this person in these new mines to keep the rights for himself. But actually, I guess someone else did it. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. 
and when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations, became aware mm. of this plot, King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. In doing so, he betrayed not only my own nation and the holy state of Hyzant, but you as well. The very people who were to share in the wealth the mine would bring. So I want to say that, like, show me the receipts. Like, prove it. But if there is one thing I have learned in the last four or five years, it's that a shouting mob of angry, uneducated people can pretty much be told anything and they will just walk away chanting it. So, yeah, they're buying this. Yep, there it is. And so we were left with no choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery by force. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder and this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. Mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> He's gonna not deny them. But I always wonder about this. Like, why? Like, if you know what the truth is, then why wouldn't you say what the truth is? That's a cool looking king. That's all right. You know, for now. I do not. What? It's one thing for him to say, it's one thing for him to stay completely silent. It's another thing for him to just admit to it. Oh, this is the, yep. This is the condition for keeping the princess alive. Yep. Yeah, that's the plan. But I beg of you, spare my children. Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. The punishment for these crimes is death. Off with his head. Roland. Could tell you. What, like right now? The future of our kingdom is in your hands. Like not like a guillotine or like a like a ceremony? Just right up here on the balcony? Right in front of my salad? Right in front of my salad. Well, hey, Ollie, what's going on? I gotta admit, this is a much wider vertical slice than I would have expected for a game not due out until next year. Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. All right, so he's definitely very big, not coming back later dead, right? Like, that seems pretty final. Like, his head was chopped off with, like, 10,000 witnesses. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. Yeah, well, kind and benevolent, but you all cheered it. With the king perishes an all-too-short-lived era of peace. And in its place... One of bloodshed and turmoil. Oh! They... Uh. Side stories. 
side stories. All right, so I was toying around with the idea that we might transition over to Panzer Dragoon when we're done with this. Nope. Nope, this is the stream now. Like, I thought this was going to be like 30 minutes of content. Ali, I hope your dinner is delightful. Oh, whatever is House Telior to do? With King Regna gone, we must find a way to preserve ourselves. Landroy, that proud fool will no doubt fight to the bitter end. But House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. Uh, yet if House Wolford were to fight at their side, they say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? The Warforts may choose to ransom the Prince to Esfrost in return for amnesty for their own domain. Hmm. If it comes to that, Esfrost will either kill the Prince and Princess, or use them as their pawns, and Glenbrook will fall. Well, I mean, he's already basically doing that with the Princess. Who is this? Oh. Okay. The need to Esfrost may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. Is it just that is it just that scene? Is that all that was? I had sort of thought that, um, I had sort of thought that the side stories might be like little skirmish battles. No, nope. those are just little, these are just little cutscenes. <clears throat> okay, so that's not as big as I thought, but still. Oh, you absolutely just know. You just know this map. Well, no, you got the, you got your three kingdoms. You got you got Snowtown up here. You got Salt Town over here. And you got Water Town over here. Maybe this is as big as the map gets. These load times are pretty nuts, but I expect that to be improved. Optimizations will come later on in the development. Grace, House Fox has failed you. I have failed you. What's this guy look like? He looks like Jet. I'm all right with that. Yeah, older Jet, but but like, you know, the hair and the face and everything. General body shape. You know what, though? All I said is Jet, and you all knew exactly who I was talking about. I didn't say Jet Black or Jet from Cowboy Bebop or any of that. You just knew. So I know it's close. Shut up, Ram. <laughs> oh, 
Hi, house. Damn it all! When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? Jekt is the worst human person, by the way. But no, cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives. So these are the side stories for, like, the other characters that we'll get in the next battle and their motivations for joining the party. I'm cool with this. This is good. This is very good. Yeah, I might, uh, I might, I might just keep this on the console for a while. And maybe I'll, like, it might be fun to, like, fire up the demo again. To play it, like, right before the game comes out. Just to see, like, what's different. Because you can definitely see some rough edges. And with as, with as pretty as it is and as good as it is. There's some, like, there's some weird stuttering and some rough edges. That are clearly just like, yeah, you know, the game's not finished. Minister but... Sorcery. Well, that man looks like a Bobo in minister's robes. What's the Booker look like? Oh, he's not the Booker. His name is Booker. He looks like, uh... He looks like Kashiwagi. The, the dude at the uh, Survive Bar from in Like a Dragon with the scar. But without the scar. What is it this time, Booker? Oh, that's a voice. Yeah, this is a good guy. You can tell. Saintly Seven, Guardian of Salt. Oh man, there's there's jokes to be made about Guardian of Salt. Sadie, are you familiar with uh, with Felseal? If you haven't, play Felseal Arbiter's Mark, because that is a Final Fantasy Tactics inspired game as well. It was very very good. I didn't finish it because I'm bad at that, but. Uh, But that that game is phenomenal. We've just received word that S. Frost has launched a surprise invasion of Glenbrook. Whiteholm burns as we speak. What's this? The Crown City has fallen. King Regna was beheaded, and it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Woolfort with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what did the others think of the manor? At any rate, I must speak with His Holiness at once. Felseal also has, uh, like, tons of character customization options. Minister, if I may assuage you. Which I don't think this is going to have. This game seems like it's going to have a very set cast of characters. And Felseal basically has, like, a few set characters and then a bunch of creative characters. But it's cool. I, I like that game a whole bunch. I... Let me actually open up Steam, because 20 hours sounds like the exact right amount of time. 28.1 hours is the amount of time that I have in that game. 
I do think it maybe drags a little bit, but the gameplay is like, is. Ugh. I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to house ends benefit. Oh. This is the person, this is the person who's like, I'm going to join out of pragmat, out of pragmatism. Okay, we've been thr we've been shown three characters, right? There's three ends to the more to the to the conviction spectrum, right? There's the morality character. There's the there's the freedom character, and this is the utility character. Our benefit, you say. Indeed. Indeed. You may have the right of it. My dear Booker, whatever would House N do without you? Send a raven to his holiness. Tell him that his faithful servant, Sorsley, would humbly beg an audience. Mm-hmm. Everyone's favorite. Like, you know... You know these guys are are in it for the for the honor and the uh, and the moralism of it because they send messages via Raven at once, master. That's that's how you know they're uh, that's how you know they're the good guys. For sure, for sure the good guys. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a decision to make when we start this next when we start up this next bit. And the decision is going to be like the decision is basically going to be like which end of the morality or which end of the conviction spectrum are you going to move towards? And that will determine which character you get. So when I say I see the rough edges in this game and how it's not finished yet, this isn't something important. But the stuttering when you zoom, that won't be like that when it's finished. There's little bits of stuff that are just going to be polished up. So I think it'd be cool to play this again before the game comes out and then um and then just like compare it directly to uh to the game as it looks when it actually releases i've never really done that before lord serenoa oh thank the heavens that you're safe oh this guy doesn't have a profile He's just Walford's soldier. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, Your Highness. Oh, damn it. It just fell. Like, you just jinxed it. You can't call it the most impregnable stronghold in the kingdom. You just titaniced it. Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. I like her. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Oh, they're just finding out about the king being beheaded. Your Highness, my lord. Pray try to remain calm. Yep. It's time for news. His grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. I don't I don't know what period of time bells refers to, but I'm going to say it's probably hours. Because of like the bells ringing on the hour, right? Father. No. 
Say it is not so. Roland. I can only imagine what you're feeling now, your highness. But I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed. We must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Simone. Who? Huh? What is it? Has something befallen Father? Oh god, you're dead too? This really is a Fire Emblem game. Father! Every Fire Emblem game starts with your your peaceful nation being invaded and your and your nice and your nice king father being killed. And then you have to run out in exile and then come back and take your city back and avenge your father later. It's like every single game. Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City and has not opened his eyes since. I mean... You must be mad. The man was stronger than an ox. I mean, listen. Emotional damage is a real thing. We cannot afford to lose Lord Simone. Not now, of all times. Father. Be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. Still not sure about Sarah Noah's voice actor. The, the rest of them have been pretty good. It, mm, this this dude so far is kind of a plank. I still need you. Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can. None can say. Do we have like a diagnosis or? Is it just the bad news shock coma? That he comes out of with amnesia? Do not this looks like a hypothesis. Garbage. The malady will not take your father easily. This looks like a battle arena if I've seen one. Forgive me, Roland. We're about to fight here. I can only imagine what you feel now. You want to go, strong. pig? I cannot allow father's uh -oh. death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. It's his broken mask. Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. He's alive. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. He's alive. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. He's alive. Probably injured. Maybe he has amnesia now. Yes, my lord. This ain't my first rodeo. Maxwell, you too abandon me now? Zombie is a. Oh. I mean, that's a that's a particular way to go with it. I like it too. Like. Identifying a trope 
does not mean that I disapprove of its use. And in fact, this happens a lot where I identify a trope and then I'm big wrong, and then I'm like, ooh, cool. At Gustadolf's command, S. Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Like, the few times that I actually try to call something a mile away, and then I'm actually wrong and it twists it in a different direction, I'm like, okay, yeah. I mean, unless it's stupid, but you know. Their aim to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. This, uh, this like tactics map thing with the little, with the little, um, uh, Pentagon blocks. Cool. I like it. That's true. That's true. If you're just, uh, If you're avoiding tropes just because they're tropes and you just want to do something different, half the time you just end up making something meandering and, and absurd. Death Stranding! I actually heard Death, St Death Stranding was fine, but like... Kojima is My bad Lord, about that. The frosty army advances on us as we speak. I can't say for sure, Ram, but Jesse might be playing Beat Saber. She is playing Beat Saber. She has confirmed. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince That being said, Rayam, once. I can answer the question. It's Locke. With not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Isn't it though? Technically only five character slots, but I kind of like the idea that Celeste's name could be Celeste. Uh huh? Celeste is actually my favorite. But we're still early on. Word has it that General Avlora herself heads the vanguard. The YouTube isn't caught up with where we are, but um, I can tell you um, the last major event that happened in the game was that not in the YouTube, but like where we are in our playthrough right now is um, Empire Peace Talks. Gustadolf's not taking any chances. The scheming bastard. <sighs> but you won't see that on YouTube for probably three or four weeks. Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. He's just, he's so flat. Like, he delivered that line with the same emotion that he delivered the line when his father's on his apparent deathbed. Like, father, we still need you, and the, this you realm still needs you. Summon the War Council. We must protect the prince. Like, it all has the exact same cadence. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Esfrost? This was in the this was in the trailer or in the in the I say we refuse. Reveal. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. 
Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping His Highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Everyone else is pretty is pretty solid. Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. But see, Your Highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough! I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Wolfort domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. Do I have to decide now? Oh, the all of these answers are, hmm, I don't know. I mean, there, there's a case to be made either way. There's a case to be made for either course of action. That's true. As the master of this domain... You Though you've no essentially one. said nothing. Decide how we proceed. Literally, literally everyone has been discussing the case for and against. And Sarah Noah's like, hmm. There are, there's two sides to this story. He interrupts the people telling the two sides of the story. Prepare the scales of conviction. The fucking what now? I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. The what? The scales of conviction. We mechanicin now? Wait, what? Oh, what, 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 what? Ooh, that was, that's funky. All right, what, what, what do we got over here? A shamaness. With the power to harness the elements, wanders Glenbrook's countryside. She might bring suc succor to those suffering from drought and famine. Let's meet her. I expect big things from this character art. And from this voice. <laughs> what flavor of not answering? Yes, that's the question. It's like, hmm, it's... It's, it's, um. The sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? If she sticks around much longer, my fields are apt to wither from the attention. I'd give my firstborn for a drop of rain. Damn. Careful with that. That shit happens sometimes. Um, yeah, so your answers were basically like. Hmm, I see both sides, like the moderate centrism. And then there's like, I don't want to decide right now. And then there's, hmm, I, I really don't know. Those are your three flavors. I and it ain't just the crops water worse for wear. I'd cry over a lot, but not but dust would pour from my eyes. Accent! 
How pitiless, the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer so? Her voice is familiar, but I don't know exactly why. Um... But... Yeah! Oh, I didn't know what I wanted, but it's that! Let's go! Yes! Yes! That! Character designers work in overtime! I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy, then I shall. You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold, as I flood this desiccated land with nourishment. You also promised your firstborn. I don't know if we're going to collect on that, but you said it. Huh? What's that the lady said? I believe she means to pull rain from a cloudless sky. And then she invented irrigation. Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from a bowl. All right, we're not going to pursue that line of thought. You must tell me if you do. We were in sore need of a miracle. Wait, what the hell are you doing here? A pleasure is always to see him, Lord. You've come just in time. This lass is about to put on a show. This feels good. No, no. I am called Dizana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain, that your people may see a measure of succor. Banish the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of taking orders. Okay. Well, slap my ass like I was just born. Rain. Honest to goodness, rain. This seems like an important power. How did... I, I've never witnessed a miracle like this. Like, she, she didn't even do anything. She, like... There wasn't, like, a dance or, like... She was just like, and then rain happened. She gave finger guns to the sky. Zana, was it? On behalf of my people, allow me to express to you my deepest gratitude. And not even like pray for rain stuff. Just like, hey, what's up? The weather changed. I got this. There is no need for such formalities. I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any way I can. If it is not too bold of me to ask, do you have need of a humble shaman within your ranks? Yes! It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have reached even my remote village. We would welcome you with open arms and the honor would be entirely ours. Doubtless, we will have occasion to call upon your talents sooner rather than later. Y'all right. Inspired by your deeply held convictions. So that implies that if I'd chosen something else. If I'd chosen other options earlier, maybe I would have gotten a different character, but like, I don't know what character I could have gotten that would have been better than this. Why is there still video game? I really thought I was going to be done with this like two hours ago.
Like, this has got to be it, right? The thing is, like, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of story bits. There's been a lot of world building, some conversation, discussions. There's only been one battle. They're just window dressing the battles a lot. I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. I don't think they said four or five missions. The only thing that we got indicating a number of missions is that it said missions plural. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go. Hearts are divided, but a compelling argument may yet change some minds. By then, I will need more information. I should ask around town. Hear the wisdom of my people. Okay. Let me investigate some more and return when I have knowledge that might sway minds. Voting! Yo! The path of the story will be determined by the consensus of your party as played out through voting. Each of your allies will cast their vote according to his or her own convictions. As the player, you may cast a single vote, but you'll be bound to the decision of the majority. You don't make decisions. Your party makes decisions. And I guess you can steer people one way or another. You can probably steer people one way or another by like arguing with them a certain way. But also, if you stack your party with a certain type of character that has a certain type of convictions, then there are some things you're probably not going to be able to pull them out of. So you pro like based on who you who you recruit into your party, I assume you probably get railroaded into certain decisions at certain points because of this mechanic. Before voting commences, you may speak to others to persuade them to change their mind. Whether or not your attempt at persuasion succeeded will not be known for sure until the votes are cast. Key to successful persuasion is gathering the necessary information beforehand. Head into town, see what knowledge you may glean from the people. This is really cool. This is really cool. Well, they've already discussed it, so you know where everyone, you know what direction everyone's leaning in. Because they, because everyone's already like discussed their, their thoughts on the matter. Ergo, you know who you need to like try to persuade. Hair like none other came over me when I saw the stain when she returned. Oh. Hello, it's me, the prince. I'm here to bust into everyone's houses and steal your fire. So I think what this is. Yeah, your decisions determine what party members you get. Because people with certain convictions won't join if you're, like, opposed to them. But it also kind of works the other way around. 
if you are if you're like hardline in one direction conviction wise then you're going to get characters you're going to get characters that lean in that direction and so your votes are going to heavily sway in one direction when that's um when something like that is when when something challenging that conviction comes up now my question is can you pretty much just I think I just stole from that from that market but okay my question is this are there going to be some decisions that are out of your control or can you pretty much always gather the information you need to persuade everyone Like, is this a situation where some decisions are unavoidable because you're outvoted? Not now. This one is obviously persuadable. But later on, if you have your party stacked in a certain way, can you just tell everyone what to do as long as you have the right information? Because that would kind of cheapen it a bit. But I would understand. Altair and Warren had just broken out in earnest when Esfrost's foundries began producing arms and armor forged of iron, the likes of which we'd never seen. Choose what information you share and to whom. That's a good question. So is it like a match the argument with the person type of thing? Or is it... Or is it just a check? Is it just a, a straight check of like, you obtain this information, therefore this dialogue, therefore persuasion? I hope it's not that. The great boon to an already impressive army. Ere long, they brought destruction to every corner of the realm. But here at the Rusty Army remains the most mighty on the continent. Hope we're now about to relive all the blood. Long I have long have I heard rumors of secret traps that dot the Wolfert domain. Tales are, be, are to be believed they serve to make quick work of any intruders. Can't help but wonder why I keep such a valuable weapon so secret. Secret traps! Secret tunnel! They might well be employed to give us an advantage in battle, but at what cost to our own? Okay, we learned about a secret weapon. It's on the age of a new age of harmony, or on the eve of a new age of harmony. What would the Archduke be thinking? I'm probably gonna put Secret Tunnel back on the soundboard. Cause... I don't think any Avatar music is available to buy anywhere. Oh, that was the right command, but I've removed everything music related for uh, for DMCA fear. But that one I feel I could go back. Because I don't know that there's anyone actually protecting that one. Shudder to think there's a bounty on Prince Roland's head. The boy's always been a friend to the people. That seems to be delivered alive. I'd wager they have We're no plans of, that. <laughs> of executing him at least anytime soon. Let the others know of this. Is it true? Has Esfrost attacked the Crown City? How could the High Houses have let this happen? Evan, I appreciate you, friend. Thanks for hanging out. This game looks cool. Maybe buy it next year. There's commotion in the capital, but it'll all be over. The Dawn Spear will see to that. Mm. Sun won't set on the sun won't set on Glenbrook till Sir Maxwell falls. Ha! <laughs> As if that would ever happen. Oh, 
But Max will lay down his life so we might see another day. Must do all in our power to see that his noble sacrifice was not in vain. I mean, I didn't really learn more about the Dawn Spear sacrifice. I was just kind of reminded of it. I had a mind to make my way to the capital, but the high road's blocked. What's the meaning of this? I got mouths to feed. Man, there sure are a lot of houses in this in this little castle town with unattended fires going on inside wooden walls. Like, every single one of them. Oh, wait, no, this one's actually tended. Hello, small child. Did something bad happen? God, this sucks. Because this is basically every kid during COVID. I feel like that seems like everything, right? Let me check this house. He did not. We found money. I haven't yet actually discovered what money's for. But I'm sure it's fine. So, shall we? We got three pieces of information. Let's see how, let's see what we do with that. Let's return to the council chambers. Let's see how this works. Yo, are they seated on different sides of the room like the trial in Chrono Trigger? No, they're not arranged by, uh... They're not arranged by, um... By... What side they fall on. Persuade! So he's undecided. The dark days, lad. I think the time would come and we'd be weighing the fate of fate of prince and kingdom on the scales. We should probably protect Roland. That's I feel like sacrifice Sacrifice dude is probably like not the best route to go. Even Benedict's at a loss this time, and I've never known the man to lack for ideas. Or where does that leave us? There is more information. For Maxwell and the King gave their lives, and for what? Don't like get any peace thinking like that. There's nothing any of us could have done. I want no more reason to protect the prince. I know how you feel. I do. Consider this. Sword to my throat. I reckon we're outmanned. At least as it stands now. We truly believe we can come out of this on top. There must be a winning strategy here. Hmm. Can't help you with that. I don't give the orders. I just take them. Men will die and our home may never be the same. Still, we can only do the best we can. 
but it keeping the people from harm. Have you given any thought to that? I I will protect these these answers are nuanced and imperfect, and I like that. I like that a lot. Not alone on that measure, I'm right here with you. Tough spot we're in. I'm no closer to an answer, but I at least know where your head and heart lie. So, show me someone who says they got an easy answer. I'll show you a damn fool. You right. All right, there were dialogue options I was locked out of. So there's more somewhere. Talk to them. I learned all I can about that. I don't assume there's like environmental interactables. Learned all you can about a bonnie on the prince. I feel like the high road being blocked is important. Yeah, this is a part of this game I didn't expect, and I really, really like it. I really like it. I like that this is here. I do fear with a lot of stuff like this, I do fear like it, it sort of boils down to formula after a while. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the... One of my only real complaints with Octopath Traveler, and I hesitate to even call it a, a complaint because I love that game, but like you have eight stories and they are on rails and they go chapter by chapter by chapter and none of your party members really talk to each other within their own stories. So you're basically playing like eight mini stories. And the fact that that the fact that, that story never really came together in a in a satisfying or interesting way does kind of suck. But I but I don't care. That game's awesome. Like that's that's all the bad that's that's all the the criticism I can I can bring myself to levy against uh, Octopath Traveler. However, this is like this is going like as far in the opposite direction with that as possible i forgot you can actually rotate the camera i really don't think there's anyone else to talk to out here so Maybe it's information you get from other characters? Lord Saranoa. Or that is for us to need House Wolf for its destruction, this much is clear. You lead House Wolf House Wolford in your Lord Father's stead, your duty is to your land and its people. 
Suppose we decline. The Duchy's army will stop at nothing to take Prince Roland from Lord us. Saranoa. Allowing a motion to govern us in the moment will only cloud our judgment. What do you think? Must be a way to avoid weighing my life against those of others. I trust we Saranoa. can find it. That what you will, I shall follow whatever judgment you pass. I believe his, uh, I believe he's up there on the side of like, yeah, just serve me up, whatever. I... Peace built by forsaking our friends and countrymen in their time of greatest need is no peace at all. I know what I ask is not easy, but I pray we find a bloodless path out of this conflict. What do you need? Stand no chance against an army that large. Releasing the prince to Ace Frost is a logical decision. With all due respect to his highness, the kingdom must come before his personal freedom. I... Kingdom needs Prince Roland now more than ever. He needs to be protected against all, above all others. All right, so here's where I land on this. What they're saying about responsibility to the people, responsibility of the kingdom, don't let war come to the land. I get that. Oh God, no. I get that. I understand where that's coming from. However, our negotiating partners in this have proven to be ruthless and bloodthirsty. And I doubt that simply turning over the prince like. So what does that mean? We become annexed and a puppet state. Because it seems like that's what we're looking at. Lord Saranoa. Hi, Tanben. How is character development? Is it class based? Um, in the sense that the characters have classes. Yes, we have soldier, spear knight, strategist, conjurer, physician, spy, scout, shield bearer, scholar and shaman. We do not know yet if these classes are interchangeable or really much at all about how they're built. Uh, we have been in one battle and everything else has basically been story and um, story based progression. It does appear like it might be character locked, but we don't know. We are not sure. It certainly seems to tilt that way. Because the characters, like, the characters seem to fit into their roles very distinctly, but... We might be able to swap them out. We might be able to Octopath it. Alright, begin Persuasion. Rendering Roland is the only way to protect the Domain. Surely you see that. Cannot. All right, the whole fighting spirit thing is is all well and good, but I like the idea of we cannot yield to the enemy's every demand. In that case, every demand. Yes, you force it. Yes, if we bend to the first thing, it'll just continue. They'll just roll the army up to the doorstep and demand something else. We'll be like, oh, okay. I agree it's not ideal to submit in this instance, but what other options have we? However, As in all things, logic must guide our judgment. She doesn't care. Oh, I get we moved her to undecided, I guess. Persuasion. I mean, Anna seems very like from what little we've seen of her, she seems very like cold, calculating, um, logic driven. So the whole like, no, we have to protect because friends, she's like, no, but like, listen, trust you'll make a reasoned decision. Yeah, exactly. 
spies can't really be like throwing themselves in to save their friends. It's not how that works. Aha! We unlocked new choices. Perhaps the battle is not as hopeless as one might think. Of course, bring that to bring the secret weapon to the strategist. I appreciate that it tells you specifically what works to unlock a new option. That being said, it does seem like it's just a check. It's not like a thing where it's like, here's the information you have. Which thing do you want to tell him about? It's literally just checking, like, did you get that information? And that, yes, you got that information. OK, here's this dialogue option. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Must confess. M must confess. I must confess, I was not aware you knew of our domain's last resort. Forgive me, nothing I have heard here has shaken my conviction. Do you have any more to say in your favor? These are really well written dialogue options. None of these are objectively the correct answer. These are all weak arguments in their own ways. Quite true. I can say those words. We are able to save Roland and protect our domain. You hear no objections from me. I am decided. All right, I thank you for sharing your thoughts with me. I shall take them to heart. Benedict doing a think. Now, I wonder if that it says you won't know their. Um... It the game said you won't know their decisions until they vote. So I wonder if moving everyone into undecided. Um, is moving everyone into undecided just does that just mean like, OK, you talk to them? Or does that show progress? I think it just means these are the people you've tried to persuade. Will not allow my life to be weighed against those of the people. Have you forgotten? Certainly. Father taught me that whoever rules is righteous by virtue of their station alone. That's a terrible lesson. Unlearn that. Now that I weigh your words more heavily than most, I know not what is right. However, I appreciate you speaking your mind, but I have my own thoughts on the matter. After all, is it not best that I handle that which is easily settled by my word alone? We got a thing, though. I wonder. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, that's a very read. That's a very, you know. That's a very regal thing to say, like that's kind of how monarchy works. Monarchs are not elected. Monarchy works by I am I am the king, therefore I am righteous by ver by virtue of being the king. Respect me. And the thing is, we haven't seen any of the lead up to this. So like, we don't know if there were problems. 
Such a tactic would demand a sacrifice of your people. And against their w wait, what? I thought they were just traps. No longer discern what was right and wrong. I place my fate in your hands. So he'll just vote whichever way we... He'll just vote with me, I guess. Yeah, Persuade is locked out on the people I've already used it on. All right, I think you're the last one. What do you need? The argument that I want to make to everyone is like, it doesn't end with this. Hand over the prince and we won't touch your domain. Will that promise will hold up until the prince is in their possession. And then it's like, all right, get rolled. Only a fool would pick a fight he cannot win. I do not take you for a fool. They will see us as naught but pawns if we thank you. We will just become a vassal state. I don't know. I know, right? Didn't know the pro controller had uh, had mic support. They find their weakness yet. I, too, wish we did not have to surrender Prince Roland, mind you. Must be thorough in times like these. Pray continue. I'd like to hear your thoughts in more detail. Secret weapon. I have a plan. Hidden device. It may give us the upper hand. I want to know more about what this is, though. I've heard the rumors, and yet... See where your heart lies. Let us hope that it leads us well. Well, I don't need to persuade. Like, it'd be kind of. Yeah. <laughs> what if we just what if we just go through and play devil's advocate on everyone? Listen, I know I just went through and told five people that we don't have to surrender Prince Roland, but surrendering Ro Roland is the only way. All right, let's vote. Let's see what this looks like. I'm curious. I just want time to cast our votes. I just want the Chrono Trigger trial music to play right now. This is pretty close. This, this is kind of doing it for me. Question before us, do we surrender Prince Roland in accordance with Ace Frost's demands or do we fight for his freedom? On this matter, I say, we must protect Roland at all costs. Approach the scales of conviction. I believe in you. I believe I can decide this matter with confidence. You aren't wrong, but... An appeal to emotion does not a rational argument make. I like her. She's going to vote against me, but I like her. I agree. You have my vote. Do not make me regret it. Wow, I did not think she was going to change her mind. You won me over. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen.
God, the voice acting is still really stiff. Damn! We convinced everyone, but... Okay, so there's something important here. For, uh... What's her name? Sila? Gila? I, I forget what her name is. The one person who voted against us. Um... We had... Two... Uh, we had two unlockable options to use on her. And we used both of them, and they didn't work. Which makes me wonder if maybe those unlockable options are not always the best choice. Which is interesting. The way forward is decided. Surrender Prince Roland to no one! Yes, Frosty shall get our blades between their ribs and thank us for the honor. Damn. Well, the judgment is made. Guess we're going to die now. The scales tip and our path is chosen. We must steel ourselves for the battle that lies ahead. Very well. Then I will do all in my power to see that it proves the right one. I fight with you, my friend. Prepare the defenses. We will hold our own against the army of Esfrost. I literally can't believe how much game is here. Because I assume we're probably heading into another battle now. So, like, damn. After consulting the scales and reaching a consensus, House Wolfort resolved to shelter Prince Roland. So this dialogue will be different if you go the other way. Not long after they find themselves besieged by an elite subset of Esfrost's forces. A subset? Pshh! Commanding the Duchy's armies is none other than General of Laura, the deadly warrior who claimed the lives of Prince Franny and Sir Maxwell with her own hands. That, that's not confirmed yet. I mean, I have literally been playing this for three hours. And I've not, like, I've not repeated a damn bit of... I've not received... I, or I've not, uh, I've not repeated a, a speck of content. Concerning Prince Roland, no doubt. All right. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. How intriguing. They will remain loyal to the royal family even if it means their demise. Very well. Send a raven to General of Laura. Tell her to make for the Wolfort domain at once, and that she is to return with the prince, or not at all. Hmm. Yes, Your Grace. They definitely got to opti optimize these loading screens. God damn. More stuff. Look, look at this, this is more. 
There's so much! Yo, come look at how much game there is! Do you see all this video game? Do you see it? Look at it! Look at how much video game is here! Can't stop. So they would rather die than bend the knee? Warfort truly is a house of fools. At least Avlora will have the chance to prove herself on the battlefield. There's the boy. Yeah, did they accidentally just release the entire game from Chapter 6 on? That's why we took her in, no? She'll prove useful yet. Took her in? Isn't she like twice your age? For her own sake, I would hope so. Once we bring down the highest of the three high houses, what do you suppose will become of the other two? <laughs> I should think the answer obvious. Dear <laughs> this freaking string suspension right now. It's a fish pup. Yo, why are you so strong? Oh my god, this is so dissonant. The cowardly Tellyors will be at our beck and call. The Falks, too stubbornly loyal for their own good, will not. House Falks presides over bountiful lands. Now, do you suppose Brother will pass up the chance to claim such a tantalizing prize? Indeed not, Brother dear. <laughs> The energy I get off these two is the same as the energy that I get off the twins in uh, season two of Korra. Maybe not as sarcastic. I'm not going to lie, I was like, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just play this demo. I'm going to play out this demo, and I'm going to... All right, if you wanted to go, why'd you jump up? Fine. I was like, hey, that's cool. We'll just play this demo real quick, and it'll be like a 30 to 45 minute demo. And then I'll just call the stream early, because it's, it's been a long day, and I started early and everything. And now here it is, like, 10.30. And I've got, like, another battle to do before this demo is over. At least! I'm gonna end up running past 11. It's a good thing I got tomorrow off. I mean, it's still kind of sad, but, like, you know, we're all right. We are still in chapter seven, from what I can tell. It hasn't oh, given us a, it hasn't given us a new chapter more. title. I don't think the chapter will end until there's an actual battle. We've just been getting like many, many cutscenes. Yes. What is it? Oh, this guy. Tidings from Whitehall, my lord. House Wolfort shelters Prince Roland within their domain and refuses to acquiesce to Esfrost's demands. What's this? Those fools would stand in defiance against the duchy. The Archduke's forces move against the Wolforts as we speak. They intend to capture Prince Roland and bring down House Wolfort in one fell swoop. Hmm. I don't know that he's going to bail on us so much as he's just going to just not join us at all. He seems like the type to throw in with the side he thinks is going to win. House Wolford is strong, but 
not strong enough for a full-on attack from the Duchy's forces. <sighs> and yet, there is always the chance, however slim, that they will prevent. Yeah. Best wait and see how the situation unfolds. He's not even going to... He's not even making a prediction on who wins. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not picking a side until until I see who comes out of this. I am make damn sure I'm joining the winning side. Yes, there is no need to rush into anything. We must consider carefully what will afford us the best chance of survival. Mm -hmm. Continue to keep your eye on the other domains. I must know of any movement among the wolf forts and the fox, no matter how inconsequential. He looks like an honorable man. That's true. You know, I'm thinking like a, you know, I'm thinking like a, like a protagonist. Like, no, we will never surrender. We will grasp our, our, we will grasp our chance at victory. Yes, my lord. But like, honestly, the more like you have to be a little more pragmatic than that when there's people like. You have to be a little more pragmatic when that than that when you're actually talking about. Um, like ruling over people who are affected by your decisions. There is some truth to like you cannot rule by emotion. All right. What we got going on over here? You are aware that Prince Roland fled to the Wolfert domain after the Crown City fell. And also, these scenes are all contextual based on our decision. As Frost demanded that His Highness be relinquished to their custody immediately. We have just received word that Wolfert refused. So you get a different set of scenes. Either the same scenes with different dialogue or just different, just different things entirely based on based on what you choose now i'm assuming i would guess because i've seen this before we are probably seeing one of the more significant choices with one of the more significant like plot diversions a most admirable display of loyalty to glenbrook's royal family if ever i have seen one and also, I'm not convinced. See, here's here's what I wonder, right? I wonder if these decisions have long term branching consequences. Or if they just branch off to a different scenario in that chapter and then you sort of eventually just loop back to the main plot. So are they like small branching arcs that keep looping back to the center? Yeah, the chain of beads. Are they those types of decisions or is it actually going to branch out? Because the, the stories that branch out like that are incredibly difficult to maintain. This game's ambitious, but I don't know if it's that ambitious. And they are not the only ones who shall remain true. In the name of King Regna, House Fox II will take up arms against those Esfrosty bastards. For we are one of the three high houses of Glenbrook. We will live up to that name and fight for our homeland with our lives. Aye! 
May your shields be strong and your sword strike true, my countrymen. For Glenbrook! I appreciate this. But we're gonna need more than 11 dudes. Just saying. I am not familiar with that character. All right, I think that's it for our... Uh... I think that's it for our... for our distractions. That's a big burb! That is a human-sized burb! That's a goddamn griffin! Avlora? Are you certain? That's true, they do ride the burbs. Yes. We are surrounded by the Archduke's main forces, led by General Avlora herself. Yeah, that's... yeah, I mean... yeah. She killed my brother... and my master. I must avenge them, even if it means my life! Your Highness, your life is far too important to so blithely throw away. I know that, and yet... I really, like, I don't know if they plan to. And obviously, like, this game isn't done, although it's it's hard to remember that sometimes, considering all of this. But, uh... Oh, this theme is going. I really, I really want them to institute an auto advance text option. I really appreciate when I can just hang back and watch the, and just listen to the text advance. Let us consider another strategy. As a matter of fact, there is more to this town than meets the eye. It is a secret which, under normal circumstances, would be divulged to a new lord only after their succession is made official. But, desperate times. I sent a man just now to make preparations. Come with me. We haven't much time. So again, like... We, we've got secret... we got secret trap weapons. They require some sort of sacrifice? Okay, let's party! The load times are pretty brutal too, but I, uh, I do expect that to improve. Okay, continue the main story. I I kind of wonder if they're gonna if they're gonna take us through all this and then not like they're really building up this battle. I have I have been playing this game for a very 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 long time for for us to have only done one battle. 
Like, less than 20% of this gameplay has actually been combat. I would hear more of your plan, Master Benedict. Which, again, I am here for. They say Castle Woolfort was built into a mountainside. Am I to believe there are yet more secrets concealed in its construction? Just so. As it happens, a contrivance of sorts was installed in the town to be used only in cases of dire emergency. What manner of contrivance? I've never heard such a thing. Do we just have to, like, dump all the houses off the side of the mountain? You wouldn't have. The information is divulged only to the Lord of the House and his closest advisors. It is a secret, one that embodies this town's true worth. I see. Then what, pray tell, is this town's true worth? The towering walls that rise up in all directions, the network of sloped waterways. Those are pretty good. This town appears as any other to my eye, but perhaps my gaze is untrained. It is the canals we will use. We shall pour flaming oil into them from above and burn our enemy out. Oh, I mean, that's relatively mundane. What in the Benedict? Have you gone mad? Do you see those hawk sculptures located throughout the town? Oh, wait, no, that's going to burn everything to the ground. I do. They are the means by which the weapon may be activated, I presume. Indeed, tearing them down will trigger a barrier to rise around the canals. After that, no one will be able to get in or out until the blaze subsides. Oh, sh that's, oh! You would burn people's homes. No, the very town itself, along with our foes. But just think of the lives that may be sacrificed. Okay! I wish I had that information earlier. That's okay. It's time for another vote. This is the path we have chosen. No! Left to us if we wish to survive. We must win, whatever the cost. Prepare for battle. Can we at least bring the people into the castle? They knew what the sacrifice was. They could have been like, hey, if we do this, it's going to require that we do this. Did say at all costs. Suppose this is a cost. Ready for the Duchy's attack. That device should be somewhere in town, but where? I still don't know what money's for. Yeah, like everybody, like this is going to be a bit rough, but everyone come into the castle, bring your loved ones, your pets. Your belongings. Yeah, no, this is good. This is morally gray. And you say what my life means to our kingdom, I must survive the battle at all costs. And yet, Father, Franny Cordelis, or Maxwell killed them all. I must avenge them with my own hand. Um. Yeah, no, that's not the answer. Maybe calm your shit for a bit. Battle's not for vengeance, but to reclaim the throne that is right. Also, this is a this is a defensive battle. So like if you rush out to attack the enemy general, 
that more than likely puts you in the line of fire, which is the exact thing we're fighting this battle to prevent. Yes, I know, and yet, I am my life to you all, and I will not part with it easily. The Duchy shall not find us easy prey. I lived through the Salt Iron War, you know. I back then the Walfords were little more than a humble clan what made their home in the mountains. Skilled swordsmen that they were, they were men of peace. Now they had ever gotten involved in the wars since High Zant had not threatened to cut off their salt supply. Oh yeah, you remember when your dad was sick? Use that method at the risk of our own lives and those of your people. Still, this is the choice. Um, It will take many years to rebuild the town. Innocent people will suffer. Ugh. This isn't so much a choice, so much as just a... Shit. I mean, it's fine, I'll pay him. We must put down any threat to our domain and our people. It was a difficult choice. I do not mean to make you regret it. Well, must prevail and rest, prevail and rest assured I, that I will see that we do. Prince Roland's sake and for our own. I like her. I like her. Now she attacks us here. I thought our alliance was stronger than that. Yeah, I mean, stuff happened. By the way, I'm raiding your, uh... Okay, so I'm raiding your houses for materials. But in my defense, they're all about to burn down anyway. So, like, you know, you're not really missing much. Not at the moment. Townsfolk have been led to refuge within the... Okay, thank God! Surprisingly, they went without incident, though now do no doubt it cannot be easy knowing they will lose their homes. Yeah, it sucks. As a true- I just opened for business! My cabbages! Oh god, the child! My friends and I were gonna go play, but Mama says I have to go to the castle where it's safe. Oh, you poor thing. I must escort my children to safety. But we lose our. Hog sculptures can be positioned here as well. Where are those pedestals hiding? Mayhap I should ask around. Whew! God. All seems in order. Jesus Christ. Stop it. Get some help. Like that went up fast. Never need salt more than you do during wartime. I only hope our stores will last. 
Makes me think to think it makes me sick to think of Hyzan growing fat off the corpses of Glenbook and Esfrost. Can't believe we're to use such a terrible device. You know what? Neither can I. Have you heard of the news about Lord Silvio or House Telior? When Esfrost attack, he didn't muster a single soldier in defense. He just holed up in his own domain like the cowardly gob shit he is. Ain't got a loyal bone in his body, that one. What a sorry excuse for a Lord of the High Houses. Oh. We learned more about Lord Telior's loyalty, or lack thereof. Just about to set off for the Crown City when they blockaded the highway. No, not what lies in store for us, but it won't be good for business. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, there is one way and one way alone that this is this is going to be good for business, and that's if your business is construction, possibly lumber. All right. Fuck this house in particular. That's true. Yeah, so, yeah, the, the quarries, I suppose. That's a big one. God. This device will set the town aflame. I hoped it would not come to this, but it seemed to have no choice. So here's the big question. Are all of the decisions to be made? Are all of these decisions to be made pre-battle? Is it possible to maybe win this without using that? I mean, I guess we'll see. How fare you, Benedict? My preparations are complete. I trust you're ready as well, my lord? <sighs> as ready as I shall ever be. We have given ourselves every advantage that we can, my lord. Indeed we have. I only hope that it is enough. My lord, the Esfrosty forces are on the move. And so it begins. Our foe advances. Take up your positions, everyone, and be ready for the signal. Oh, boy. Yes, it is time. It's time. Surely they wouldn't. Surely they wouldn't cut the game off here. I assume there's at least one unit, possibly the general, that just is not defeatable. Because I'm because i thinking about it. It's something we obviously have to activate in battle. Recommended level 10. Current level. Uh, not 10. Oh, wait, no. Anna's at 10. She's cool. Hey, you remember? What happens 
if I go to encampment? I've not actually done that. What? This is awesome! I'm a humble shaman from an even humbler village. You are not humble, you controlled weather! That's the least humble thing imaginable! Like nothing more than tend to your weapons, but I fear I've not quite finished my training. Pray bear with me for like another year or so. Provide me with necessary materials. I'd be honored to temper and repair your weapons. Call me at any time. Alright. So here's what money's for. I might buy some ice stones, but I want to see, uh... My wares do not meet your every need! Let heavens rain their wrath down upon me! Gregarious barkeep. You bet your blade I'll have a list of errands ready for you when we open for business. Side quests. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is a this is a quietus. Um, and that's what the, that's what the kudos points are for. Cool. How about you? Research proceeds apace. I feel I'm on the verge of yet another break breakthrough. Expect great things if you're not already. So research is a thing? All right, so I was thinking maybe we could like buy weapons and stuff and you can, but not yet. That's not in the demo. Good Lord. A young apothecary, huh? I've played enough Atelier games to know where this is going. Doctor, we have two patients. Uh, it looks like you've got four. Hold on! Profile art! Oh no, she's cute! Oh, she reminds me of Tressa! But is actually Alfin! Both with extraordinary fevers. The Rosellen is unresponsive. Well, I can't tend to both unless you can give me two more pairs of arms. Let me help! I've just completed my training, and I'll do whatever it takes to save them. No, woman. There are no real doctors left? Uh, fine, come. We're losing precious time. I thought he was going to be like, no, you can't help. You are lady. That was, that was Leave my... Boys, Ellen. We must prioritize the believer. Lila? Lila!
Yeah! Yeah! That's illegal! <laughs> yeah! God damn, the character designs in this are fantastic. Like, just like across the... Wait. Slow down. Pause. Okay, listen. Yes. Yes, this. However. Let's loop us back around to leave the Rosellen prioritize the believer. Choose which care cho choose which human to heal based on whether or not they are one of us. Your holiness, I as you wish. But the Rosellen will die unless we do something. Do they not teach the order of things in school these days? Oh boy. Oh boy. So what if they do? What does the order of things have to do with saving lives? Not all lives are weighted the same. No! Oh! Remember that. Okay. You had a shot, but then you were like, all lives don't matter. So, all right. Villainy established. Quickly, Medina, these people are dying as we bicker. I couldn't save him. Orders or not, I was the one following them. It's all my fault. Where are you going? Medina! We are assembling a cast of characters, and I'm excited about it. Saranoa, but a doctor from the ministry requests an audience. My name is Medina. I've heard much about your house and simply had to see it for myself. Ma'am, this is a tent. What insolence is this? Stand down. Pray tell, what brings you before me? It is said House Wolfert possesses a relic known as the Scales of Conviction. Is this true? Yeah, but we just use it to, like, vote on stuff. It is. We turn to the Scales for guidance in times of trouble. Then, I wonder if they might guide me forward as well. I... I had a crisis of confidence. A man was counting on me to save his life, and I let him die. You sound like a great medic! You're in! I cannot let this happen again. I wish to save all the lives I can, regardless of country or creed. No, I- no, I- I dig it. Yes. You're very in. Pray grant me the chance to consult the scales, that I might walk the righteous path. The scales are merely a tool to an end. They are not a magical window into the future. When decisions must be made, all in this house have a say. We choose as best we're able and strive to ensure we chose wisely. I mean, again, from what I can tell, the, the scales are just a thing that you use ceremonially to like, to like put your you use it ceremonially to to put your, you know, to put your votes on. And then it just like shines a big light. It's basically like a decision making slot machine. 
Like the outcome is the outcome is determined beforehand. It just does a big flashy light thing. You mean you strive not to regret your decision? Yes. That is all one can do. Forgive me if this is not the answer you sought. Then would House Wolford accept my aid if I offered it, my lord? If you would serve as a doctor, that would be a boon. For we fear the war shall not end soon. I would be honored, my lord. I would see what I could do to rewrite the order of things. I really like this lore that order of things is capital O, capital T. Then let us walk the path together. I am at your service, my lord. So I feel like... And Sadie, you were saying we're saying the same thing about Roland, about how his life isn't weighted the same. And... Technically, that is true in a sense. But yes, that was very obviously a theocracy. And the order of things is very obviously the religious doctrine that they follow. Um... But I think that we're getting her because of our decision, because ultimately what our decision was is it is not OK to sacrifice one life to save many or to save others from inconvenience. Like if there is a life in front of you that you can save, you prioritize saving the life you can. We're talking about sacrifice for other people in the village, but not death. Destruction of their property, destruction of the land, but the people themselves will be safe and can rebuild. So I think it's a I think it's a moral question of like of like weighing one life against well being. Aha. Uh -huh. Inspired by your deeply held convictions, Medina has joined your cause. Her skills will serve you well in battle. She can increase the potency of items as well as use multiple items in a single turn. All right. I also want to point out that we have like 10 characters now and not a single reused class. Like, if this were a Fire Emblem game, we'd have at least eight Cavaliers by now. All right, come on. Hey, you got my lip on that one. He wanted big popo hugs. Broadscope, I absolutely promise you that you would get sick of petting before he would get sick of it. There's only so much left to this, buddy. If you give me like another, I don't know, hour, it's already 11. If we do this battle and there's more after the battle, I, I quit. Like, we'll, we'll play the rest later. Like, I've been playing this demo longer than I've played, like, 
This demo is longer than a lot of full games. This is almost definitely... This is almost definitely longer than I was going to play Panzer Dragoon, which I guess is now relegated to Friday. The battlefield is no place for children. I will have vengeance for my family and for my master. Prepare to die. My name is Roland Glenbrook. You killed my father. Empty threats from a pampered prince. You will see what true die, might die, do. Die, die. That's basically how it goes. All's in place, my lord. Ready when you are. Very good. Now, to lure them where we want them and initiate the device. You but what if we just killed them, though? What will happen next, yes? Yes. And I am prepared to make the sacrifice. With me, everyone! All companies, advance! Leave no survivors! Lucifer, I've been playing this for four and a half hours! Um, that being said, this is only the second battle, but there's like, there's like two hours worth of like story bits and cutscenes and other gameplay elements between this and that. No, that was actually a different stream, Broadscope, because I had to restart the... I had to restart the stream to get the audio to work once I fired up the switch. So I have actually been streaming for six hours, which is why I'm exhausted. Does that Laura have boob armor? I mean, there's like a little pop, but like, it's not crazy. Yeah, I mean, doggo in bathroom. So maybe, maybe it's closer to like three, three and a half, but still. It's beefy. I keep expecting it to stop and it just doesn't. Like I me of three hours ago was like, oh, cool, this demo is going to be short and then I'll and then I'll just call it a day and I'll be done with the stream early and I can just kind of relax and catch up on a couple of YouTube series I've fallen behind on and all that good stuff. And now we're now we're ending late. Also, the dogs are making out. This feels good! Oh, damn, you can walk on the houses. Yeah, OK. Quarantine's ice magic to freeze enemies in place. Have Hewett trigger a trap from a safe distance with her arrows. Hold on, we got weather conditions. I don't know what that means. Unit placement. All right, but I want to try the new characters, though. And we need Roland. We're definitely not swapping uh, Anna out. 
You can go... Not because I want you out. You're cool, but... We do have an apothecary, which I assume will basically do the same thing. Increase skill of effective health recovery items. Two items quick succession. God, using item healings instead of passive healing is like not. That's not a trade-off that I'm really interested in. But I don't want to just not use the new characters. We've seen them already. You know what I mean? All right, but no, you got to you got to like But like she's got to go, right? Like she like she's got to come with. You know. I'm kind of lean in that way cuz they seem to fill basically the same role. But fire resistant like counterattack ability though. Oh, you can go. Yeah, he can go. I didn't uh, I didn't find him especially useful in the last fight. Anna Stain for sure. She was awesome. She's going to probably be really good in this. Uh, he was limited use, but I didn't really get to use him effectively last time. And I can't take him out because he's got specific, like, counter strategy stuff to do here. Okay. Okay. Oh, she's not a she's not an apothe apothecary. She's a pharmaceutist. <clears throat> All right, I don't know if actually, what do your things do? <clears throat> Lightning damage, have an effect to paralyze for two turns. Effect spreads on water, which she. So she can summon rain and then summon lightning into the puddles. Holy shit. Do I want to summon rain on the fire map? Like, maybe I do. If we're going to try to do this without lighting the fires, maybe. Maybe that's exactly what we want. It's worth noting Frederica is also at the lowest uh, the lowest level. God, like this is a hard choice cuz everyone seems really good actually. Alright, let's run with it. This is a demo. This is a demo. I'll just keep telling myself that. Wildfire traps, destroy the hawk statues, scatter across the battlefield to activate the traps. 
Particular trap is activated. Flames will engulf the area indicated by the yellow panels. There are three traps in total. Be careful attention to the positioning of all units so as not to injure your allies. She's only level 13. We got this. She does have battle mages, though. That's worrying. I... I really feel like this is doable. That, uh, that shocked me for a bit because that is in the soundboard. That is in the soundboard uh, folder. But uh, that's relegated for like donations of a thousand bits or more. So I was like, oh God, what happened? Who did, who did this? Enemy reinforcements are past the outer wall. Oh. Survive. The town is surrounded, and enemies flood in by the moment. We knew getting into this that we'd be outnumbered, but victory's still in the cards if we're smart about it. I cannot bear the thought of sacrificing my people. Must I make a callous choice for the greater good? Have Laura, mark my words. I will send you to the depths of hell by my own hand. I won't lose. You need to stop, though. You need to, you need to calm, like, calm your ass down. Well, this the music took a turn. Time to take flight. Shall we strike? I think you go over here. Hi, Broadscope. I will crush the greater you. good. They're not advancing. And like, again, I'm fighting a defensive battle here. So like. Yeah, y'all need to move, not me. I can stay here all day. Shall we begin? All right, so we have the... Okay, so we got her over here. We'll keep the healer over this way. Actually, we don't have to... Yeah, no, we don't have to step in the way. Where was I? And we'll keep the DPS up here. Oh, I forgot we have walls of ice. It can be. No, it's actually your time is your time is later. Uh, 
I will end this. So on both sides, we have physical, physical attackers up front. We got healing in the back and ranged uh, magical attack in the back. Physical up front. I'm not super comfortable using Anna as a, as physical damage, but she's fast, so it's all right. We got healing back here. We got ranged magic damage, ranged physical damage. We end the turn, like, here. Nope, that's too much aggro. Way too much aggro. I mean, she's melee DPS, but she's, like, she's largely status-focused. Like, her actual attack and defense skills are not that good. She doesn't do a ton of damage, but she attacks fast and she does debuffs. Now, you know what? Hold the line. The hunt is on. That's the position I wanted. I interpreted that very wrong just now. She said, my pride is my shield. And I was like, I wanted to be like, but you don't have a shield. And then I realized, oh, that's the point. That's that's literally what she's saying. All right, so we're just going to choke point him. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, but you're not going anywhere, so I'm not really scared of you. I should have bought more items, but I didn't realize it was going to be like this. Now just hang out. All right, that was a decent chunk of damage, but we're okay. Maybe we'll put, uh, the aggro seems to be coming up the left side here, so maybe we'll, uh, you know, just, just, just gravitate over this general direction. I would love it if you would get haste. Um, gonna reposition here. Time to work. Where was I? You hang out over here. In a pinch, I could always throw up a wall. I cannot, like... I'm in love with the fact that that move exists. Seriously. It's so good. For victory. Uh-huh. Keep shooting. Yeah. 
I seem to be in attack range. Which ain't great, but... Back at you. Counter stance? Risk of rain? Oh, that's nice. So that looks fantastic, but also I'm... I'm very soothed by the sound. Defeat is not an option. Effective. Level up. Very good. Yeah, they're really they're really lining up here. But they're all melee, so we bottleneck them. They can't they can't really go anywhere. Alright, who uh 80, 103. That works for me. I will end this. Yeah, that's just too much aggro. Just not willing to do that. How about you go invisible for a minute? No, no, no. You just hang out. Because what this might do is if he tries to path past her to get to the uh, to get to the magician in the back, he'll just lose his turn. Like he'll just, he'll lose his attack or his uh, his opportunity. Oh, they backed away. Interesting. And annoying. Lance had... Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't realize, but Lance actually has... Two squares, so I can still reach. Excellent. Roll and learn pushback. What, pray tell, is pushback? Deal physical damage to an enemy and knock them back three squares. Okay. We can do that. Time to take flight. Hey, what if I just what if I just shadow stitched you right there? Nope. Didn't work. At least I don't think it did. My time is now. I can't cast lightning yet. She needs another turn. Cool heads shall prevail. Eh, that's fine. If you can hit me up here, hit me. Do your worst. Thank you. I'll take you on. You have anything that attacks at range. Now, I could use provoke to make sure he attacks me. 
but I actually, in this case, want him to go past. So... In this case, you're just getting frozen. Yes, very effective. Aha. Ow. From where shall we strike? Hit him. I, this is like... This is going to be an absolute grind of a fight if we insist on doing it this way. But at this point, I just got to know. Like... If this is something we actually can do... The, like, that elevates this game so much. Oh, he didn't take the bait. That's a little scary. Luckily, I have double items. Here you, go. you get an item. And you get an item. Here you go. This will help. I would say everyone gets an item, but it's actually just you two. Mm-hmm. Wait. Are they healing? No, I just haven't I just haven't really hit him with anything. Knock him down the steps. The hunt is on. There we go. Let's let's slow down on the battle is won. I don't, I don't know about all that. It's still pretty damn early. Excellent. Four gone, huh? What uh, what kind of game is four gone? No. Oh man, moving just one step closer. It didn't spread through the puddle. I'm only slightly disappointed. I shall do what I can. They're both good for now. Circle of healing takes two. Let's wait to charge it. I've been for this. I'm not too concerned about a lack of random battles because we had that one... Uh, We had the one person in the encampment who's like, hey, I'll have uh, frosty fetters. 
Because, like, I'll, I'll have, like, quests or whatever for you later. So I assume there's skirmish battles and things to get into if you want. From where shall we strike? Perish. All right, that's one down. It's taking time, but we're getting kills. Oh shit. I won't lose. All right, that's a slight problem. What happens if you push someone back into someone else? They do take they do actually take some damage. Not a lot, but some. Ah, crap, we missed. That might be the effect of the rain. I'm going to assume that the effects of a firestone are dampened ever so slightly by the whole, you know, rainstorm thing. This will help. Going to hop up there, take the item. That's fine. We're long hauling this. Oh, they're they're getting smart enough to rotate in and out. Behold, true power. But I can't do anything. So magic takes time to charge up. Your orders. Actually, um, my orders are kind of stab the crap out of this mage, if you would. This probably won't work because I think it I think you're revealed if you're right next to someone. But if they're asleep. I hope she's OK with those orders. I gave them with her in mind. All right, everyone get big healed. Closer to our home. I've been waiting for this. I don't like I don't want to break the defensive line here, but there's really no aggro coming from this direction, so I feel pretty safe in in running down this way. This does put me in archery range though. Unless I stop right there. No, still in range. Like the mage, the battle mage has like full screen range at this point, so.
Ice damage to enemy, decrease their speed for three turns, and freeze the ground. Yeah, I could probably use that over this way. Roland's still not doing great, but... God, if it wouldn't expose him to so much danger, I could have Roland use a charge and he would literally just damage through all four of these dudes. But then he'd be completely exposed. And I can't risk that. We have to be patient. Oh, I don't have enough for it anyway. One down. Spear attacks both of them? That changes everything! Alright, well it changes a lot. God, I feel like I should just leave well enough alone and let him sleep for a while. Oh, Anna's there too. Nah, we'll wait. Flee while you have the chance. See, like, this all looks scary and all, but, like, she's hanging out down here. The archers aren't moving from the from the housetops. I can keep this up. I'm not running. The only thing I'm running off of consumable wise is the items that she's using. But that can be supplemented with just regular healing items. Or regular healing uh, ability. Here you go. Sorry to worry you. I'm here to help. Uh huh. Charge strike, missed. Very nice. Charge strike, hit, not too bad. Counter stance. To lead, I must grow. Oh God, I wish I could just get right up next to him. Cause I could sleep them too. God, she's so exposed, but. But she's in stealth, just trust the stealth. Oh dear. My turn. She has been very discovered, and I can no longer trust the stealth. Stab them both, because we can do that now. Can we shadow stick? No! I just barely can't. Can we pop down on this little easement? That might do it. Yeah! C. 
66% chance to hit. Blinding, 71. Shadow Stitching, 71. Positioning! Do it! I want the item, but not bad enough to give up my positioning. Well, look who's ready! Exploit that weakness! Mmm! Nice! I shall do what I can. What you are seeing here? is a lot of excitement about a plan coming together. I'll take you on. All right, what's your range like? Pretty much everywhere. Also, we, yeah, a shield bearer came over here and decided to start mixing it up, so. should probably get down here and do some defending. I have mismanaged his position pretty consistently. Okay, the archers are moving now. Um... I mean, I guess I need the I need the battle. Do you see the little do you see the little spark? I can't use the Firestone because the throwing arc is blocked. Oh shit. Flee while you have the chance. I really like games where you're not committed to a move. All right, we're going to hang out here. We're going to go with the large HP recovery. No, we're not. Here you go. The tides are turning. I lied. It's fine. Coming around. The defensive line is broken. I need a healer. All right, let's check the turn order. Oh my god. I just clicked the left stick and it showed me the turn order. Every character on the screen has a number for what order their turn is coming up in. Holy shit.
That is really, really, really good battle battlefield animation to have. Or information to have. Whatever. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stab. Victory is within reach. And then we're gonna stab again. This is the end. Oh boy. General Vlora, the second regiment has arrived. Forward! Leave no trace! Quail not to their numbers! I won't lose! He's better now. Hey, how about you get pushed? It's not much for damage, but it'll keep them from, uh... It'll keep them from pushing into our ranks too much. Which, I don't know if you could tell, it's kind of important at the mom. Well, I'm glad that you leveled up from the miss. Defeat is not an option. Sick. Pardon me. Leave my girl alone, please. Oh boy. Oh boy. I shall do what I can. Oh, yeah, excellent timing, actually. Excellent timing. If you could, please. Been waiting for this. So he's literally got 30 turns before he can move again. Gotcha. You're open. Ah. Got something up my sleeve. Steal back, huh? So falls to me. Why I don't mind if I do. Yes, very effective. Your orders. Now, you know what? Stay on this side. Attack from the No, no, no. We're going to stay on this side. Attack from the front. Get the counter hit both times. Yeah, the counter hit is actually as good or better. And then... Slap. Slap. Does the counter... The counter hit wakes him up. But he's still got like two hit points left, so... Worth, I say. Hey, I'm gonna boop you with my cane. Is that cool? We boops. Boop. That's literally all I could do there. I will crush the greater good. My girl's really out there just throwing empty threats around, isn't she? Allow me. All right. We have shored up that crack in the defensive line. They are they are they holding bows? Ah hell. My turn. Okay. Yeah! Goodbye. Tactics! This battle is won. 
Anna, that was kind of overkill. I oh shit! The third regiment has arrived. To think we need to deploy all our forces. You are a worthy foe, Woolfort, but your fortune ends here. That's all of them. Defeat is not an option. They are at their limits. Okay. Um. Archers. God. Mm. So they're going to start advancing. A lot of what they have left is archers, which isn't good for us, but also... We got a shield bearer here, we got a shield bearer, two shield bearers. Yeah, if we can get into those ranks, we can ruin that. The problem we're going to run into is Evlora is going to dive in and start wrecking shit. And that's going to be a problem. So... Do I try to stand my ground? Screw it. Oh yeah, that... That battle mage was back up, but... Retreated? I got a couple things up my sleeve, if it comes down to it. Most important of them is this. I'm not, I'm not making this easy for you. You got to come to me. I've got high ground and archer cover. I'm not going to waste it. The, I kind of expected the rain to eventually stop, and it has not. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected him to do. Ooh, that hurts. Face me if you dare. Okay, she's moving, but she's moving slow. Okay. We're going to have you back up. And you are going to go ahead and just recover. Hello, Sari. Less than three. Hello, less than three. How are you doing? I am a weird robot face. Here I come.
I don't think she... Oh, no, she can! Oh, she can totally hit him! Go for it! Yeah! Oh, it was a backstab, too! Because he was running. Okay, that's way too many lines on her. But I can roll back this way. Go! Oh, shit! Okay, no, that does work. That's cool. That's really cool. Wait, so why doesn't it work down here, then? What is this weird electrical current? Oh, it's the canal. Oh, that would be so perfect if I wasn't going to kill my own people. All right. Well, now we know. I can't I can't do that right now. I can't risk it. I'd really, really like to, but I can't. It would be it would be like a lot of big damage all at once, which would be great, but this is a battle of attrition. God, that's so many. The archers go the, the archers would go down super quick. Interesting. No, 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 no. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna retreat back to here. We're gonna use the hawk dive to take out one archer. That's one less thing we have to worry about getting hit by. Get them closer to our support. Oh shit. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm basically using Anna as an obstacle at this point. That damage is, it's not negligible, but it's manageable. And there's that obstacle. Okay, this is a problem. My turn. It it has become a problem. The archers are just gonna keep raining damage on us. The shield bearers don't do that much damage. I think we just got to rush down the archers because they're going to just be able to keep attacking us from wherever they feel like, right? It isn't over yet. Okay, we got to get you out of the line of fire. Go ahead and heal back up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I will crush you. Shall we begin? Okay, she's way too heavy. Rude, I know, but Like, everyone can just wipe the healer. Thank you. 
Oh boy. All right. You're in there, buddy. Let's go. Provoke. Do your job. Night, Tom. It's, what is it, like midnight now? Yeah, it's after midnight. Count on me. All right, so we're getting an attack in there. That certainly worked. And then we're gonna throw down a healing item on you. The tides are turning. I'm here to help. Now then, to work. Very good. Not really a ton of damage, but it's something. God. Um. If I could get you to go to sleep. That would be absolutely fantastic. She's so good. All right, and then we'll take cover to avoid damage. Behold, true power. This seems like the most bang for buck I'm gonna get out of my magic, so. Nice. That sounds a little bit like Christina V. That's one down. And the defensive line is reestablished. That was close. I'm surprised you dodged that. And pleasantly surprised. Wait a minute. What about provoking? Does provoking go away the same way that sleep does when you uh, when you attack someone? Ow. You know what? That'll work. Yes. This is good. Let's focus and deal with the ones that are already broken through and hitting our healers. The hunt is on. I don't know that this is the right move for me right now. Like, I healed her up a little bit, but... But we can take out the battle mage if I do it. 75% chance. Wing and a prayer, let's go. Yes! I will fight to my last breath. Literally a wing. Is joke. Like, we're doing this, right? Like, this can be done. Here you go. I was close.
Okay, so I, I have a... I have a favorite character. Let me heal your wounds. Or at the very least, a favorite uh, unit from a gameplay perspective. No, that would be crazy. Why would you say that? Stab! Did you see that? One step closer to our home. I should have used her turn to heal, but she kind of didn't need it. All right, here's how we're going to handle this. We're going to hope we don't regret this. We're going to run into the we're going to run into the bunch and say, come at me, bro. Now then, to work. And it didn't work on him, so we're going to hit him with, uh... We're going to hit him with speed down. Now, that should have knocked his turn back. It does not appear to have done that. Hey, you can have this now. Because stop hitting my damn healers! Leave it to me. Yes. Yeah, I was afraid of this. God, it hits hard every time. Did you notice what just happened? Fury does not just force enemies to attack your character. It forces them to get as close as possible first, which in the case of archers means putting them outside of their attack range. Because they can't attack adjacent. So he ran up to him and couldn't do anything. Tactics! Stab this fool in the back! Did you see that? Allow me yes! Alright. Hewitt is still in some trouble. So I'm going to try Blinding Arrow to give myself a, a chance to avoid some of this crap. All right, he's got Blindness. And I've got Elevation, so we'll see how that works out. In the meantime... I've also got this. That's all right, you're fine. You're fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Hey! How about you get stabbed? But then... You also... I can't. Damn it. Alright, just get stabbed twice. Allow me. For life. Best I can do. I was gonna put him back to sleep, but I forgot that cost points. Alright, we can pull you back forward. Um... Although there's no real reason to. Unless... Mm -hmm. 
Yes! So yeah, I guess I didn't actually explain that. I just kind of figured it out and didn't say anything. The, the diamonds correspond to action points, which build up next to your character. It's basically like the Bravely default system. It's like one per turn. Yeah, so you start with one. The melee attack is free. And then all of your other attacks cost a certain number of, like, essentially action points. So in this case, I can say... Oh, no, I can't. You know what? She's probably fine. How about we head over here? Really, one? Oh, I can't anyway. I'd... Well, this just isn't going to work. No, I know what. TP recovery pe pellet. Go ahead and cast a circle of healing right about, oh, I don't know, here? Wish I could get three in that group, but I can't. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, we're still doing this. Hey, uh, quit it. Gotcha. Where was I? You can't really attack. Get some help. Is not an option. Hmm. Can't really attack this turn, but we can move over here. or defensive positioning. She's still really exposed up there. And it ain't great. You've done it now. I won't lose. Hey, what if we just like charged? Yeah, he's still sleeping. Let him sleep. I hope I don't regret this. But Archer down. You see that? Now as long as uh, as long as General Lady doesn't run up the back and stab me. Oh shit. Oh, we are one square out of range. That is that I'm mm, that didn't make me feel safe inside. And we're out of there. We did eventually have to abandon our, uh... We did eventually have to abandon our position, but... We maintained it for a while.
He's like about to wake up on the next turn. It. Let him sleep. Nope, no, we're not we're not taking any more actions. Behold true power. Well, hello there, kids. I don't want to waste this whole ass attack on this on three hit points. But if I don't, I'm going to take damage. And it's too much height elevation to boop. So it's got to be this. This is the safe play. Wasn't that safe? Flee while you have the chance. Oh dear. Ablora, you murderous bastard. You'll pay for what you've done. Oh, we were not out of range. We are not out of range. You will share the same fate as your master. Uh-oh. For the greater good. Okay, no, that was just dialogue. It's okay. We can get him the hell out of there, but we're um All right, listen. We are we are all hands on deck right now. I don't know how I don't know how strong she's going to be. I assume it's a lot. God damn. She can't throw any of these items from this distance. You know what? I really would like to pick up those items, but I've just I've just remembered that it doesn't freaking matter because I don't get to keep any of them anyway. Shit, let's just. Yeah, see, no, that's gonna, this is gonna take a big, this is gonna take a push. I can't even run that far. Like, this might not even do it. I don't imagine she's gonna be strong enough to just one-shot everybody. Yeah, I can mess with a hawk dive. That's not gonna kill him. But I could delay his turn. Presumably long enough for someone to come in and finish. I shall do what I can. Yes, big heals. We are in need of arrows. Is that all you got? That probably should have been my priority. Okay, you know what? That actually suits me fine. Some research. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, not really. Doesn't quite work the way I'd want it to. 
So that being the case, let's just take the damage. It would bottleneck her, but she'd still be able to get through, so... Damage. Most interesting. My research bears fruit. I can't hang her out to dry like that. Oh, thank God you prioritized him. Feel the wrath of my blade. This is gonna hurt. For the greater good. The music changed. And also... That's a good one. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, so we've, we've entered the boss phase of the fight. Avlora is weak to having fireballs thrown at her. Unfortunately, I can't because it would hit... It would hit Roland in the back of the head, and we don't want that. So, unfortunately, yeah. I won't lose. Does she have a counterattack? She doesn't, somewhat surprisingly. Here I come. This dude's been over here blinded and leg trapped in ice for like three turns. He's just like, what's going on out there? I hear a lot of commotion. Take that. Behold true power. Yeah, we're going to need the true power over here, I think. Is this going to spread, though? We'll see. No. No, I don't need to do that. I can do it from here. Yeah! For my kith and kin. Act again. I could go for the slumber stab, but he's just going to get counterattacked out of it, so. We'll go for the regular dagger stab. It's. It's stronger. The thing with Evlora is. I think she aggros on Roland. Specifically. Yeah, you need this. Oh, that's a relief. I'll take you on. Do I really want that, though? 
No. You're open. Victory is within reach. Keep the line. To work. Damage or kill? Why not both? Both is good. You can move after attacking if you don't move before attacking. So like if you're already in position, you can take your attack and then move afterwards. That'll do. That'll do. Stronger than you look. She missed? And she's running! Oh, we're about to ruin this woman's entire career. Now, you know what? I You've done enough. Defeat is not an option. Hawk dive? Oh, I can't. It would have been so good. I actually I don't think I can do it from there. Uh, I think Sarah Noah's just gonna stay up here. Hey, you just charge up, buddy. And no surprise there. Behold, true power. Hey, guess what's a thing that I haven't used the entire game? Goodbye, sir. So heavens bless me. Shall we begin? Imagine the sheer terror of getting a of getting an arrow like right in your Achilles so you're immobilized. You just like stuck to the ground. You won't beat me. And then you see and then you see this shaman just like starting to cast a spell. And you know that it's just lightning about to come down on your position. Where was I? And you you can't move, so you just have to kind of sit there and accept it. Nah, don't do anything stupid. Should we give it to him? Let's give it to him. He wanted the fight, and he's gonna get it by stabbing her in the back as she runs away. Did you see that? Have we no choice but to retreat? Master, we 
prevail. Here I come. She said retreat, though. She ain't dead. I was prepared for this. Ah, oh, hell. For the greater good. Yo, we did this. Defeat is not an option. Well, not anymore, it's not. We're going to take some damage here, but we're all right. I zero. No big deal. Well, you're going to wish you didn't do that now. Rolling is the final push. Yeah. Freaking victory. Not one house set ablaze. Yo, that was hard. Oh, this is... Flooded, but like, it's just rain. It's just a lot of rain and some lightning. Did I enjoy it? I, I feel like my enjoyment is apparent. I swear to God, if within the next 10 minutes, there's not a thing saying thank you for playing the demo, I, the, I, the stream is over. Like. Ugh. They are strong. This is more than simply the advantage of terrain. Bye. Retreat! All companies, fall back at once! <laughs> Look at him turn tail and run! And we didn't even need that damn contraption! Yeah! Yes! There's dialogue for doing it this way! This was an option! Okay, that makes such a huge difference to me. Because it gives you, the game gives you the A and B choice, but then rewards you for finding C. Indeed. I'm thankful we kept any damage to the town at a minimum. You have my gratitude. All of you. It was touch and go there for a second. When that third company showed up on the top row and it was like totally behind my choke point. Whew. Ooh, that was, ooh, that was spooky. But we did that shit. Repelled. Yeah, that's the shit right there. Let's go. Great losses on the battlefield. In the end, it is House Wolfort that triumphs. Did they? I mean, I know that there's like, you know, you're looking at your main units and there's like thousands of grunts fighting under these banners, which is what they're talking about. But like, I, I suffered like no losses at all. The vanquished general of Laura is forced to retreat to Castle Whiteholm with the Esfrosty army in tow. She was told not to come back without the prince. I believe that. It... 
She was told, and I quote, come back with the prince or not at all. She's back. I assume this is just, I assume this is just like to show you the consequences of what you did. It's gotta be like, they didn't just ship out a game, right? I have no words to excuse my failure, your grace. I underestimated the Woolfort army. It will not happen again. Indeed, it will not. I will accept no apology for your incompetence, save victory. The Woolforts may have gotten the better of us this time, but it came at a cost. We must strike again before they can regroup. <laughs> there were five chapters before this. Rest yourself. Six, Laura. technically. I will have need of you yet, and soon. I shall not disappoint you again, Your Grace. You have my word. Well, that was less of a, uh, you failed me once, now you die, you're no good to me anymore. Nothing and no one will stand in my way. I mean, okay, yeah. Five chapters before where we started. You know the prologue is going to be long. In fact, it may be prologue, then chapter one. So maybe there were actually six chapters before this. Like, I assume we're just being shown a couple of context, uh, a couple of context sensitive scenes. <laughs> All right, listen. I'll look at these. We'll look at these four and then I'm out. Like, we'll pick it back up on Friday or something. I can't. Actually, my throat's just drying out. I've been streaming for like eight hours. House Warford triumphed? Yeah, we did. With minimal losses. Yes, my lord. The Archduke's army has already withdrawn to the Crown City. That said, it you thought we the were Wolford done. Army suffered significant casualties. Did it now? I'm just impressed. Like, seriously, they marketed this as a demo. Like, this is longer than a lot of games. It is not like full ass games. Consider the possibility of a Miss Frosty defeat. And yet, it is hardly an ideal development. <laughs> Whatever are we to do now? Wolfort may have won the battle, but. Can they win the war? Hmm. My lord? Ready a bird. I have a missive that needs sending. As you command. So the cool thing about this is that we're seeing people who are disconnected from the story. And you know that they will lace into the story eventually. But I think that your actions determine how that's going to happen. Like they're reacting to the story beats. Uh, they're reacting to the story beats that you. Uh... Like as you as you do them. And it's it's interesting to see, like, how is that? How is that going to affect things? Ram, this demo never doesn't stop. I'm still live because the demo is still live. House Wolford's strength. 
To think they were capable of driving off the S Frosty army forces like that. I suspect it's a demo! Surprised the Archduke as well. And yet something tells me Wolfort's victory is more than a fluke. Demos aren't supposed to be five to ten hour games. I shall keep that in mind. Still, this development is to our advantage. This will only make it easier to carry out our plans. Just so, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding as you anticipated. Yes, we shall have our way. It is but a matter of time. Hey. Okay. So again, this comes down to like, you know, your, your, your victory or defeat and the way that you achieve it is like, it's lacing into all these other characters and they're all like, okay, all right. And you're kind of, you're getting insight into how they're reacting to what you're doing and how you do what you're doing. And that will, like, inform their decisions on, on whether they become friend or foe later. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I bring good news, my lord. As Frost Army marched on Castle Walford in an attempt to seize the prince, but they were roundly defeated by House Wolford's forces and retreat to the Crown City as we speak. Joyous tidings indeed. I knew the Wolferts wouldn't let us down. I'm also pleased to report that Prince Roland is unscathed. It would seem young Sarah Noah is more than capable of carrying on Lord Simon's legacy. Triumph as they did, they still suffered considerable casualties in the battle. It is more than likely that Esfrost is already preparing for a second attack. Very well. Take stock of our own forces and determine how many men we can send to House Wolfert's aid while retaining enough for our own protection. Yes, my lord. It is time to take a stand. If the three high houses come together as one, I am certain we will prevail. So, the effect that this is, the effect that this has had, They still outnumber us. They sent a detachment thinking it would be enough and it was turned back. We suffered losses that cannot easily be replenished, but they have a, you know, they have a deep well of forces to keep pulling from. So if they come back with a, with a same size army, they'll overrun us. However, we have now proven that we can win. And as such, that rallies potential allies to our side. the proof of concept now that we've shown we're not just going to get like now that we've proven we're not, we don't just get steamrolled every time and there's actually a chance of victory it's easier for people to throw in behind us i like this okay what else could possibly happen? Like, did they accidentally just put the whole game in here? It has to have an ending, I right? As well, my falcon can assist with clearing the rubble. My thanks to you both. Your aid is most welcome. I am ready. Go safely, Anna, and give my best to the others. We take a risk in entreating a powerful nation for aid. I need you to determine to what extent we can rely on them, if at all. Hmm. Leave it to me. I've sent Anna to the holy state of Hyzant. 
Hmm. Our alliance may not be what it once was, but we must seek help wherever it may be found. In a perfect world, we would be able to count on the cooperation of our neighbors here. Indeed, unity within Glenbrook is of the utmost priority, especially now that we've ensured Prince Roland's safety. And yet, we cannot count on houses Tellior and Falks to act in our best interests. Mm -hmm. We must prepare ourselves for every contingency. You are right as always, Benedict. We've taken the first step down our chosen path, but there is no telling what awaits us. Th okay. That? We've taken the first step, but there's no telling what awaits us? That's it, right? That's it? That's perfect. Like, that's the line. Like, load up a trailer of other shit and let me go to sleep. God damn it! I mean, I don't have anything to do tomorrow. Just give me a cutscene where everyone tells me how cool I am for, like, saving Prince Roland and not destroying the moment, town. Your Highness. Oh, it's you. As silly as it may sound. I've never truly understood what it meant to be royalty. Does my life carry more weight simply because of the blood in my veins? So much so that the lives of others must be sacrificed in my name? These are big questions. You need not worry about that, Roland. Lord Wolfort speaks true. The scales of conviction guided us, but this decision was ours. We have chosen to walk this path with you. I was born the second prince. No one expected great things of me. And yet, simply because I had the good luck to survive, my very existence now necessitates all these sacrifices. If I may be so bold, it was not luck, your highness. We protected you. I'm... Yeah? <laughs> I know this, of course. That's what makes this so hard. You all fought and continue to fight for me. And I could scarcely take care of myself. You did fine. You held the line on those steps for, like, the entire fight. I need to become stronger. I must. For my own sake, and for yours. Dude, you leveled up like eight times in that fight. Like, you're doing all right. This looks... Did we do it? Oh my god! Jesus Christ! We got happy clarinets back there. Oh, those are flutes. Yeah, I mentioned this before, Sadie. HD2D is the copyrighted term that Square Enix has trademarked to describe the visual style of this game in Octopath Traveler. Oh, this is... This is fucking...
fucking delightful. Holy shit. This is great. I'm just... None of the developments in this, in this tune have... That's, that was something else. Don't worry about that. I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for a raid target. Just playing this. Several partners are playing this. Yeah, there's a lot of people playing this. But you know what I just remembered? It's 1 a.m. and everyone's tired, so let's just go home. Hey. Oh, cool. We got voice actors for four characters. All right. Akira Senju. Not a name I've heard before, but maybe one I'll remember. I mean, they got uh, Yasunori Nishiki for uh, for Octopath Traveler, and I hadn't heard of him before that. But I remember that name now. Well. Debut demo. So that was like six hours of video game. And this game, this game isn't out until next year. But it's already this good. So yeah, all right. All right, everybody. I'm taking Thursday off. I'll see you on Friday. We'll do the makeup screen stream for Panzer Dragoon. And then if we have any more time, we'll probably just do Kuso stuff. Sound good? Thanks for, uh, Thanks for joining me on the marathon. I didn't expect it to be a marathon, but here we are. It's been eight hours. All right. Later, everybody. You said you wanted this to be the end, the end screen music, so it's going to be.